Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Keith Finds All the Buttons. <laughs> it's my favorite show. It is. It's so okay. that, that didn't... Oh, it's because Stanley's I... Stanley's parable, it. the button ending. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome once again to uh, our weekly or usually weekly episodes of uh, the Glassbreakers Guild where we get around and... Uh, play Dungeons and Dragons and have fun and uh, bring you guys along with us. So, uh, if I look a little frazzled, it's because... It's because you are? It's because I am. <laughs> Adulting is hard. We're tired. And we are, everyone is tired. We so tired. we are... Uh, well, apologies for that, but we're uh, hopefully going to have a good time tonight. Oh, we're definitely going to have a good time. <laughs> we, maybe. We just, or just we're tired. maybe Stephen will die. Yeah. We're still going to have a good time. Gonna We're still going to have a good time. <laughs> um, just a few quick announcements before we get started. As always, um, just a little plug here for the YouTube channel. All of the video content that we create here for our live streams does go onto the YouTube channel, so you can go back and watch all of the back episodes that we've done. Um, you can watch one shots. You can do uh, you. We you can watch the episodes of Cover Your Assets that we've done, which is us creating custom content. We've got some uh, game board nights when we didn't have people around the table. A couple of episodes, maybe one episode of VR, which was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. So go check it out. If you're new to the YouTube side of things, do be sure that you hit the bell icon. Um, ring the little dingy. Ring, ring a ding <laughs> dingy, and make sure that uh, you do all the things on YouTube, so that you always know when video content goes up there. Um, also, just a little plug for our Discord server. Uh, we do run that on the back end. We use it for some in-game communication for certain games that we run. Those are mostly private games, though. But it's also a way for us to keep in touch with you guys who watch us here and keep track of us. Um, it's a good place to know if the schedule is going to change, for instance, or any announcements we might have. There are places to share writing, art, music. If, you, if it's creative and you do it, there's a place for it there. Um, additionally, yeah, don't. Just don't. I didn't just say don't. a single word. No, it's but I heard it. I heard you thinking it. Um, Kyrie legal, also creative. does creative streaming, and there will always be announcements there for when her streams go live as well. So go check that out on Discord. Sorry. Carry on. Was there? Okay. Is there something you need to share? No. Okay. That was, that was a sudden cramp. Oh. Okay. I didn't um, realize everything was going to be so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what happens sometimes. Um, I think that is all the announcements I have to get through. Do we have anything else that we need to address before we get started? I didn't prepare anything this week. <laughs> no? I didn't realize you prepared most of the time. Sometimes I do. <laughs> He last prepares he, about as well, well as I do. Um, all right. Well, that Requested. being the case, then, who Requested. would like to do the recap? Would you would like to do the recap. Go for it. Um, so, first, Mel. Okay. Mel grabbed onto the scepter, right? Mel um, grabbed his rod. Yep. Yes, his rod. Vigorously. Yes, vigorously. <laughs> Without yeah, hesitation. Closed his eyes and appeared somewhere else. <laughs> and he gets transported along with the scepter to a brightly lit room. Um, in that room, there is a stone throne, very elaborate. Um, there's a dwarf sitting on this throne. And there's all, below him, there's also a female dwarf. In full ceremonial armor, armor oh, and a sword. Armor. I can't. I can't speak today. It's fine. <laughs> Any day, honestly. So. Yeah, that's me most days too. So um, I get it. And he said, "So it comes to this." Um, Mal uh, starts to rotate 
Uh, like he's like, sus anyway, he gets suspended in the air and then he like rotates around. He can see us like through the wall. Um, throne room starts to shake. Um, a big chasm opens up. There's lava at the bottom. Um, coal balls start to pour out on dead dwarven warriors are there. Anyway, it's a lot of, um, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, so Killian decides to open his, what is it? Trick room? Mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Rope yeah. trick. Rope yeah. trick. Rope trick, right. Um, everyone... Uh, the second campaign that that spell has we, saved us. Yeah. <laughs> um, rope trick, so we kind of take a quick break. Um, and then while that is happening, Mal decides to challenge the Dwarven King to a duel. <laughs> the King basically laughs in his face and is like, it's like, how dare you even think that I would agree to duel you. Uh, Mal has <laughs> the balls or the stupidity to tell both. <laughs> both, I mean, both, both. both to tell the King that he basically forfeited um, by refusing to duel. <laughs> uh, and they start fighting um, while we're in... Oh, and that's where the 20 was. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we, Killian starts taking out some of the call balls from the safety of this rope trick room. Um, we decide, oh, Mizuki mm -hmm. is able to see that they're at the bottom of this chasm that opened up. There's like a platform with <coughs> six, like, keys. Um, so we, um, and it's like, so there's like cobalts that are trying to go down to get them. Um, so we decide that we should get them instead. Uh, Milo is able to retrieve them. There's some fighting, and we eventually we get all the keys. Um, and as we we fight like the undead dwarves, like some kobolds. There's maybe a kobold in the bag of holding. Who knows? Um, I think they're actually. And then, there. yeah, th I think. Uh, yes, there yeah, is there's a, a cobalt and a corpse. In, and a corpse. And a corpse, and a corpse, and a corpse right. in the bag of holding. Um, we eventually um, defeat all the uh, undead dwarven warriors. Um, and so we turn all the keys in the, to the keyholes. Oh, and it's fine. It's just, it's just, it's fine. Um, water starts flowing into the chasm. And I believe that's where we left off. Uh, and then Mal, Mal, and we are not sure what exactly happened, but um, he got stabbed by... His great 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 great, uh, great, great, great an obsidian great, 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 shard great, great, great. or so. I I'm 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 not sure. <laughs> anyway, it's bad news. Probably <laughs> we're not. Obviously, our Pretty characters don't know knowledge. what happened, um, and we're trying to get to him, and hopefully, that you know, we hope we hoped that by turning these you know keys that we would find a way back to Mel, um, before he meets his demise. <laughs> So, um, so I think hope. that's about where we're, we, we were at. We did, it was just a lot of combat, so. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing was one big, Yeah, it was mostly combat. a lot of combat, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, anybody have anything else they want to add to that? I think that's not really pretty good. I don't know, does, does the recap need to know what happened separately? <laughs> 
Mm, let's hold off okay. on Oh, that. that's right, yeah. They want to know. They can go watch the YouTube Yeah, video. they can go exactly. watch exactly. the, which I have not done. So, and surprisingly, neither have I. I, have I actually said that part. So, we don't know what the heck happened. We don't know what happened to Mal. That's not true. We know it's probably not good. Well, yeah. Okay, that's players, what? us, know it's probably not good. No, no, I'm pretty confident Killian is, is sure that whatever's happening to Mal right now oh. also oh. not good. We, we know Mal is oh. in danger. Because Mal is yeah. being yeah. controlled oh, by Steve. Oh, yeah, you can't It'll tell look, anyone else. After, after yeah. the game last time, I literally looked at him. I'm like, so you're going to go home and tell Natalie what happened to you? He's like, yep. yeah. I'm like, yeah, because you, you have to tell someone. <coughs> yep. It's going to be my wife. It's okay, Cabbage doesn't know. Yeah. Nope. Right. Okay. Well, then. As we were leaving off, you guys had activated the six keys in the throne room. Yes. And at the far end, the lo large doors out of the room started to swing ponderously open. Oh. The water that had been flooding the cavern came rushing in, was falling down the cavern, or falling down the chasm interacting with the lava down there, creating steam, and also letting in some other threats oh, for no. you guys. Oh, Undesirables. Undesirables, oh, yes. Anything to do. I'm out of spells. <laughs> Quick, take a short rest in the trick room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm... Pretty much yes. out of key points. I've got one left. Uh, I'm kind of going for the old. To... Uh... Uh, I'm fine. not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that you wouldn't you wouldn't be spent anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you would, would have been fine anyway. Yeah. Um, one left and thirty hit points. I can. Actually, no. What you know? What I'm going to hold off on that for a little while. The, so the bigger the bigger thing I'm is that the water, the, the the water is rushing in on you guys, and steam is building up. In the in, castle. In the castle. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So steam is building up in the whole room. the The room is flooding. Water is rushing in. So Ooh. you've got a few different <laughs> environmental really hazards to deal with. Shh, don't make me think about that. It's okay. You don't and need air drums, right? Nothing else. Happens. Yeah. Nothing else at the moment. Just, okay. Environmental hazards, we'll stick with that. Um, the other things will kill you later, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to those later. So has the room started flooding yet, or is it all pretty much just getting diverted? In or is it just... So, so, the water level is starting to rise. So it's going into the chasm as well, but the water level is starting to rise. So it's it's not... All able to get down there at once. So you got a couple of different things happening. Um, and we will get to you in a second. Oh, I was. Yeah, he sorry. was showing off his war wounds with the stairs. Ah. Uh, <laughs> stairs did that to you? Yeah, you should have seen him come inside, stumbling, bleeding. I think I might need some help. <laughs> I'm you looked like you were dying and you've been beaten up. Oof. <laughs> so what are you guys how are you guys reacting to this situation so have we opened the doors or did we just turn the keys and that happened no we, we turned, turned the, the keys, keys and the door opened, open. and the door opened. we did not go open it the door opened when we turned the keys correct so yes. if we unturn the key does it turn off do we, we want to unturn the key we just need to know what the mechanics of this is so that we know like before we flood this entire place and suffocate ourselves. Well, we will not. Yeah, I'm always, well, I've always right, got water right. We can breathe underwater. I'm not particularly yeah. worried okay, about that's it. Fair, that's I mean, fair. it's going to okay. get real warm. I, I, have, one, I have one shtick, <laughs> which is yeah, to make us breathe underwater yeah. and do cold damage. That, that's fair. And, and since, talk when I get the opportunity to. Which since is there's a lava often. flow, it's going to be warm water. So, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's... Nice. Well, let's see if we can find Unless the water is flowing in fast enough that it's going to like dash us against the walls and kill us, I'm not too worried about the water. Let's probably a lot of it's about bringing anyway. I'm more worried about Mal than I am the water then. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to um is so the the door's opened, right? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. the door's so out open. opened. Okay. Now, is that the doors, like, where the party came in? Where the stairs and the no. elevator? No, no. There's okay. six different... Yeah. Yeah, the, these would oh, be... On the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So the doors that the party came in through are sort of the the back doors. The the um, we've got to get the king and queen or the royal party from point A to point B without the plebes seeing them. Right. right. Uh, the doors that opened are the grand entryway doors. So so gotcha. the water is actually you know you know it, it's coming in at a pretty good pace. It's fine. There's only a lake above us. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. This is perfectly fine. Um, so, where do we... <sighs> Honestly, I have no idea. Killian, how long does Killian think it's going to take for the room to fill with water? Uh, yeah. Make a perception check real quick. Mm. So the grand entryway is the one that's open and flooding. Yes. yes. And all of our doors unlocked. Our doors? They're, they are doors. They're, they're just keyholes. They're just keyholes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, that that was part of my problem. Yeah. No, they're just... Okay. I was, I was there with you. Don't worry. So... The, it, it's not going to take it very long to reach... An equilibrium of sorts. So the bigger problem isn't um, really the water mm-hmm. either. Yes. It's the pressure that's going to be building up from the steam. Mm-hmm. You figure for that, you've probably got maybe half an hour or so before the steam pressure just gets so high that there's going to start being structural damage done. Okay. Hey, you wanted to build a steam engine, right? (laughs) (laughs) So what are we supposed to do from here? (sighs) (laughs) I'm going to look around the room for any... Like, uh, <laughs> to dispel any idea that's, ideas that you may have, I do not have a plan for this. See, I, just I have always no idea what we're doing. You, you always seem to have a plan, so I was counting on you having a plan. I uh, was hoping that that turning the keys would present an option for well, us to save Mal. Terrible investigation, um, so I don't see crap around the room that's helpful in figuring okay, out how I'm this should work. Going... Okay, what... So there's the water coming from the Grand entrance doors, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. What's beyond those? Water. Just water? Um, so what you can see is, yeah, it, it is um, sort of a... <sighs> so this doesn't have like a one-to-one mapping to a traditional castle like what you would be familiar with but if it did then the closest you would know sorry you're like that kid in church with something (laughs) candy (laughs) (laughs) i love you brayden brayden just just in general humans should probably eat more than once a day oh i uh, i had a 10 hour shift today so go on okay (laughs) The closest analog you could think of would be the central courtyard of a keep. So, so the okay. almost a parade ground kind of kind of thing. So it's not um, it, it's a, it's a large open space, and sort of the sort of the water flows off into gloom, so that you can't really get a sense for how big the space actually is but it's fairly large it's pretty big okay you've already cast water breathing on us yep that lasts for 24 hours okay so i guess Um, we can go down in the water sure yeah yeah to avoid the scorching steam we also could go 
back the way we came in. We also could just wait here and hope something happens. Do we want to try the key thing to <laughs> see trap? if that stops what's happening? But do we not want it to happen? Sure. I don't know what or we do want we need to, to happen. Through, we have not or do we need to go through the door where the water's coming from? I don't know. None of us know anything. Let me reiterate. We do not have a plan. We have very little information yes, right now. We have, we no have a tentative goal. <laughs> My goal find is to Mal. find now. That I is don't our know goal. if we're going to die if we keep this open. So I feel like knowing that we can close it is probably a good Keeping thing. Keeping it open is unlikely to be the thing that kills us. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Well then, and I true. just like walk towards... <laughs> Where it's open, <laughs> and I'll follow. So the farther you go, the deeper the yeah, water okay, gets, and, so it, and it's getting deeper even faster how, than your. How fast is it? Like, is it going to be a problem to fight it? Yeah, if it's, it is, it's okay. actually going to be a. Have... How how about how about the two the two uh, very agile, uh, well balanced people don't try and wade their way through the current of water on their own. Yeah. You want to present some better ideas? I, yeah, like maybe we tie a rope to people um, and have one of the really strong people hmm. pull. I that also, sounds like a plan, Killian. Um, no water. <laughs> I hope you've got a plan. I also For have that, no yes. water if we need it. Uh, how are you looking on spell slots? I have a spell slot for control water. I so. didn't ask if you have a spell slot for it. I asked how you're looking. How many I mean, spell I slots only do have, you have one spell slot for that anyway, so... Yeah, but it doesn't a, matter. that's what, a third level spell slot? Fourth. No, it's a fourth level spell slot. I only have one fourth level spell slot. I mean, so. do you only have one fourth level spell prepared? No, I have yeah, three. Yeah, I say we save that spell I, slot. Okay, that's the only <laughs> spell that I can do, pretty much, that would help us right now. Right. I'm thinking for later, if we survive that long, and if Mal's still alive when we get to him... Might need no guarantee guys. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we might no need it. guarantee yeah. Given yeah. the two of our party are already completely out. If we can if we can navigate this without using that I spell, have we'll wait. No key points, spells. no spell slots. Oh, I thought you I have... Like, no. Like, unaccounted for. No. Are you three out of spell slots Are you out of key points? Only one is unaccounted for. I have, like, three spell slots yeah. left. Okay, four spell slots at different levels, but... I have ten trips. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I so you will lie. I also have cantrips. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about them. Okay, so somebody who's stronger than me. It's going to be me or oh. Mizuki. Yep. <laughs> Mizuki wins. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> That's funny. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's me or Mizuki. <laughs> <laughs> it's me or Mizuki. <laughs> yep. Well, I still don't know where Mal is, so I'm just going to keep walking forward if I, nobody well, moves. Let's, yeah, let's go. <laughs> if the door opens this way, this is probably where we're first supposed to be going. If somebody else would like to go first, that is fine, but... So while you guys are waiting in, Killian's going to get some rope out of his bag. He's going to tie it around his waist. He's going to throw it to Mizuki. Okay, if, Mizuki you are, if you are acting, then I will, I will wait for you to do what you're going to do. Because <laughs> well, I don't have anything. But I can, do I even have a rope? Of course I don't. I'm freaking Milo. I have a scholar's pack. He'll throw a pen at him. <laughs> That's all Open I have. with a quill. Uh, yeah, and a lot of stuff in that scholar's pack might not be useful anymore. Because yep. uh, we've it's been uh, in the water. Yeah. I mean, it's usually wrapped in, uh, in uh, wax, uh, wax leather, so I may have a water seal. So let me Maybe. put the bag. Soggy. Mm -hmm. Scholar's pack. Soggy. <laughs> All right, so you guys are... are... I, I am tying anyone who's not going to wade in on their own into our line of rope with yes. Mizuki at the front and me at the back. Yes. If people aren't just staring at each other, I will wait for the folks that are doing things. Yeah, I, I figure if you take one rope, I take the other. And okay. Go in. And we'll, like, attach Akurai to us somewhere I on there. Will, okay. I will be waiting to tie it onto a rope. <laughs> okay, so we will. If, if people let him, Killian will take the one strand of rope and he'll tie himself at one end, Mizuki at another yes. end, and then as people come up, he'll just tie you in and wrap it around you and make sure you're nice and secure. Cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, Killian. Thank you, Killian. 
<laughs> oh, look, you guys are a delightful on. fishing line for a kraken. Hey. Yep. <laughs> All of you I are have debate. mad respect if you threw a kraken at us now. <laughs> <laughs> After you're already down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm not that evil. I'll just use rope trick again. <laughs> Everyone inside, maybe it'll go away. <laughs> I have waited thousands of years. Another hour will not. <laughs> Just will mean nothing to me. Right up over the door. <laughs> Eternity. <laughs> All right. So, so you guys, which direction are you headed? What What, what are you looking for? Uh, to the, the door against the current. We're, so the door opened and water is spilling out. Yeah, and, and, and it's still, opened, you know, it's so. still sort of pushing against. Presuming Bazuki's leading the way. Yes, I, I will lead the way. Okay. Um, make oh, yeah. me an athletics check. Yeah. Uh, Everybody. Okay. Um, since she's sort of li- trying to pull against, you know, push against the current, just her. Do we get to assist, like aid? <clears throat> If you would like to, yes. Um, advantage? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Add advantage with the help. We're at least going to try to not be a okay. problem um, for you. 13. 13. Okay. <laughs> um, that was with advantage. <laughs> I did a test roll just to see what I would have rolled. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oof. Um, so, oh, so, this is a yeah. very. I mean, it's. These doors are big, and it the, the chamber beyond is essentially flooded. So you're pushing against a very, like, very stout current. You know, basic basically, it's a fire hose coming at you, coming through those doors. So pushing against it is is harder than that, and you're not able to make a lot of headway. Go with the flow, save H2O. Um, Stephen's like, yes, jump in the lava. <laughs> Join me in death. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the other side. Did we die today because my brain can't function enough to come up with anything? I don't know that there is anything to come There's up not. with. Like, there probably no. is, though. And okay. my brain. Well, that doesn't not. suck as bad. Unnatural 20 investigation. Is there anything in this room that will lead me to, like, in- anything useful? I'd like to roll to find Mal. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, I'd like is to there out. a dang useful thing I in this room to tell God. us what we're but. supposed to do? My God is still MIA. <laughs> um, I mean, he's still I in timeout. He's <laughs> being rehabilitated. But he's. Um, my God is also probably far away. So right there's. So you do notice a couple of things. First, you do notice that there are a couple of a couple of three precarious spots within the chasm itself that it looks like might be weak spots. So it's spots that if you could concentrate enough force you might be able to, to collapse the chasm and at least remove the lava as a uh, as, as a threat. Okay, so me and the geology of this cave do not understand one another. What are we looking at here? Because I thought I knew what I was looking at, and what you just described is not something that I understand at all. Like, so we are above on a little plateau-y thing, and there is a chasm, there is lava chasm in the chasm. In the- at the bottom of the chasm. We're in the yeah. throne room. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the middle of the throne room, there there's is a chasm. chasm. Like a and giant at the bottom, at the bottom there's bottom, lava. There's lava. There's so also there's a platform. There's also a platform. Might collapse down. Down. So we're the collapsing the throne room onto the lava, is what you're saying. We no. So you the, could. Okay. Theoretically. So what else? So <laughs> what else? <laughs> the other thing that you're sort of picking up is you're starting to hear sort of this high-pitched whistling sound. From? Steam. The ceiling. 
the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah, he I can't lift himself up. Right Everything. Hurts. I can't lift my arm up right now. Okay, so you get an appointment later on this week. Yeah. Oh, it'll, it's muscular, I'm pretty sure. So it'll, it'll fix. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't break anything. I'm pretty sure it's a body thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a broken bone, is what I'm getting at. I don't Danny fix broken fix bones, bones, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, also, a broken bone would probably hurt with this. Right. So, Possibly. okay, there's a whistling. If left unattended, eventually the steam will cause this room and the ceiling above it to collapse. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And possibly other parts of the Dwarven City as well. So I will point out the weak places in the, uh, the chasm wall. I don't know that that's going to save us on the steam buildup, but it's a thing that exists if we concentrate enough force. I can punch it. <laughs> What I got, man. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> hey. The Eldritch that's, Drill. That's <laughs> more than I can probably do. Uh, so, yeah, if we want to, we can maybe keep the water off of the lava by... Yeah, because that's not how that's going to work at all. But, you know, we could knock that... Might help. Yeah, maybe. I mean, at this point, we don't have any... At this point, we don't have any better ideas. So... And we're getting pummeled by the water, so... Well, I can only punch it, so uh, somebody who doesn't have to burn a spell slot, if you would like to Eldritch Blast it, okay. that's something, at least. Uh, so I I'll point also this. Punch it, it just wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I'll start Eldritch either. Blasting the weak spots. Okay. Just perforate it, um, and then let them punch it. <laughs> Are you going to make him roll the attack for it? Absolutely, <laughs> he's he is. shooting at a wall. Uh, he's shooting at a very specific part of the wall. Yes. <laughs> Can't hit the top side of a barn. <laughs> hey, it's on that wall over there. Keith. Uh, Achillian? Would you like to Got any bask in my glory? No, I don't. Thank and and. Two ones! Or something. Do you think wow. Glassman's gonna let two me ever have access to explosives? Two ones and one of them had to be real because it was cock. No. Two wow. ones! That's a fair point. I it is not for lack of trying that I don't have access to explosives. <laughs> so, with my first folly, I miss. As a DM, that, no, yeah. There's, there's I too will. Much could not hit the miss. barn side of a broad. Um, I know what I said. I'll hit it again. Which side is the barn side of a broad? You don't ask that question. <laughs> That's better. That's a 17 and a 27. Both, side. Both of those will hit. What is the barn side of a broad? Uh, that's going to be 19 points of force damage on the first the way, Danny, and on the second. That's like volley. the fifth time in like as many sessions that someone here has asked me if I have explosives. <laughs> I mean, so Keith, just... I think there's a popular demand for them. <laughs> yes, yes. And Dynamite! Popular, Dynamite. popular demand is the reason you don't have explosives. <laughs> <laughs> and as a demand, they will stay. <laughs> Alright. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. What, what are you doing over there, see me? Well, since he was rolling that ones, I decided walking over and punching it was better yes. than nothing. Or 16 misses. <laughs> 16 misses. 26. Oh, all over I have way. a very limited skill slip. I just have to do what I can. <laughs> oh no, my head slipped. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, with, with that shot, the um, you, you see the the yeah. the structure that you're aiming at sort of shift and shear and s s collapse in on itself. Okay. That is one down. I will go for an element. Did you do it again? One um, of them is a one. The other one is a three. Take guidance. 
I, I doubt it will help at this point. Are you having Take damage? Do you, like, want one of us to I aim don't. you? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, okay, okay, it's like, 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 it's <laughs> Somebody go stand on the other side of the wall and give them a <laughs> advantage. Go flank that wall. <laughs> Shoot again. Oh my god. Uh, like while That's he's true. he's like reloading, I'm I'm gonna walk over and <laughs> like punch it three times. Okay. For uh, ten twenty eight points of damage. Okay. Danny's gonna do his job. Uh, I will get crushed by this. Uh, I'm gonna retire. But, you know, I'm gonna retire you for a little while. while. Or fall down uh, with it. But that is okay. So, are you kidding? <laughs> this one has a roll. We're, we're, we're gonna set you aside. <laughs> Someone hold his hand in the right direction. Will Wheaton got a hold of his dice. My gosh. <laughs> maybe it may, I don't know. Maybe if he touches it, it'll counter it out. Maybe <laughs> or explode. <laughs> also possible. Two opposing forces and just. So so see me uh, for for the one that you're working on. It's it's not quite there, but it wouldn't take much for it to give way. Right here. I don't want to be here when it gives. I'm like moving out of the way. Here, right here. <laughs> As he shoots you. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, 20. <laughs> another volley. One is a natural one. And the other one is a 26. My word! 26 will hit. Eight points of damage. I would hope so. <laughs> so are, are, you, are you aiming for the spot that Simi pointed out? or I, the other I am trying check. to hit something. <laughs> so <laughs> don't take anything something. at this point. Let's see how let's see how these work. Like you, you know what? For the <laughs> just roll me an a roll me one more attack. If it's a one, it's a three. <laughs> Why are you okay? What? Brayden, are you okay? What? I tried my dice. Did you let Stevie touch your dice? As I said, this is the third time it's rolled a three. <laughs> Why are you still using it? Well, <laughs> give me a second. I'm gonna find some non traitorous dice. <laughs> I don't know where my where my bag of All right, so no, it's fine. I have metal dice. So so you've been working on a on the on a different spot than the one Simi's working at, <laughs> and you hit once, and you know it's it it was a good solid <clears throat> hit. I mean, it, it's not anywhere near giving way yet. But as you're going for your second shot, Simi points at the one she's been working at and says, here, right here, and your aim <laughs> sort of goes off, mm -hmm. and the Eldritch Blast just goes whizzing right in front of Simi's nose. <laughs> Where? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you just flagged the whole room. Okay, I have... All right, we'll try these. He, he turns the Brains long way to go across everybody. <laughs> I've been this bad right since I attempted to chop down a tree. <laughs> I He's will keep on <laughs> the attack then. Okay. And see what how these dice go. I'm gonna get the heck out of the way before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one is a two, uh, but the other one is a natural twenty. Oh so. Okay, that's better. Okay. That's some so, progress. That's progress. <laughs> That's cock. He just, maybe he just needs to be really dizzy to hit. We'll spin him <laughs> around a couple of times. Uh, 18 points of force damage. Good idea. Okay. Okay. Did you... You, you did the, the... The doubling the already? The crit? Yeah. It, you you do max damage and then... Uh, and the way right. you rolled. And the way you rolled. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. And you rolled 2d10? Uh, oh, no. One you get two hit. shots. Yeah. Right? Two shots. Okay. And I missed with the, yeah. the second. Yeah. All right. One. All right. So the, the, these two spots that are holding the chasm sort of open are, are, are trembling. And, and you can kind of see <laughs> dust sort of drifting down off of them into the water. The water which is at the bottom of this chasm boiling and producing steam. So steam is billowing up. Okay, well, while, while we're waiting to see if he can do it, Killian's just going to like pick up a small rock and just sort of... 
Okay. At what? At, at the spot he's supposed to be shooting. <laughs> at these spots that are supposed to be collapsing. Okay, make me, <laughs> make me a ranged attack. Don't you think for a second he's not going to make you roll this. <laughs> Maybe these are just really hard to hit spots. No, I'm uh, not even making comments on that. Roll the d4. One! Well. Click! <laughs> okay. I will continue to Eldritch Blast. Meanwhile, Mel bleeds out. <laughs> it's your own fault for just grabbing the <laughs> Two natural twenties! Brayden! What is going on? What is going on? What? 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 <laughs> so apparently, what? to fix all of our problems today, we just march Brayden up to it. And a whole and like we just let him keep trying until it works. So when it works, it's gonna really right. That's work. Like it'll 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 do the the crit. He'll do the impossible. We just have to let him try a whole lot. What the hell? Oh lord. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Nonsense. So this whole time, I was like <laughs> forty-three points of damage. <laughs> Jeez. My heaven. So so that's for the whole thing. Yes. Good job. Time. Split it up for me. Uh, well, divided. Uh, I mean, so, per, uh, well, it's not. It doesn't divide evenly. Uh, twenty, 20 for one, one hit. Okay. And uh, Wait, twenty-three then. I was gonna be like, it's you divide it by two. Twenty-three for the other one. Okay. So, so you needed a grand total of one <laughs> and four. <laughs> Sweet. So, sure God, Maya, you got I it. Should have thrown another rock. So, <laughs> the, yeah. The the Christmas the Christmas. Idea, if you had dice rolled a two, two years ago, <laughs> you would have done it. it. The Christmas dice I got two years ago are finally paying off. <laughs> and my high rollers right. dice are finally rolling. Well. So so finally, <laughs> you you managed to Why? pour your arcane energy into or the 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 energy from your patron into these two spots on the That's wall. And you hear a <laughs> and crack, crack, crack. crack. And then there's this sort of low rumble. And, and the chasm sort of collapses in on itself. I got it. So running across the throne room now, there is this depression where the, it that. has sort of... <laughs> <laughs> it, has, it has fallen in on itself. Yes. So the gash... <laughs> So the gash is about four feet deep at its center and, you know, about, you know, about 10 feet or so wide. Um, it is filling with water now. The water with no, with, the water doesn't have to sort of filter down into this chasm. So the water level in the room is starting to rise a lot faster. Unfortunately, you guys needed to go into uh, the chasm and get to Mel. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, uh, fifty uh, about fifty there. minutes. Okay. Maybe we just don't care about you anymore. That's fine. <laughs> I promise I'm trying, man. <laughs> um and, and as the steam you know the steam is starting to cool now, so there's not steam building up in the room anymore. But the water level is going higher. In fact, about this point it's high enough that you guys are no longer in contact with the ground. Um, I, I can't okay. swim. <laughs> okay. It took me a while, but I did get it. Okay. Good job. <clears throat> Milo, I'm so proud of you. Blum, 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 blum. Thank you. <laughs> so once we get, once the water gets deep enough that uh, it's over the door, that should slow the Flow. The flow. What, what a roller coaster. So once, <laughs> um, so once that happens, let's go. We're going in. Two, two <laughs> Presumably, we're swimming. Yep. Mm -hmm. As yeah. one typically does well, when they wish to on move the bottom because you're heavy. <laughs> and with my 30 feet of uh, swim speed, Possibly I will start swimming for you. Just... I might. Just saying. Make you're, you're weekend me at burning. An athletics like, check. I'm because the mind you. Flow oh, is it, oh, water it, still oh, flowing. Okay. And I'm going to remind you, you are currently tied to the rest of us. Yes, you are tied to the so rest of us. So if you start moving forward, you're trying to pull us all along with you. 
Good luck. So I'm not moving anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Effectively. Uh, sure. I'll give it a go. Twelve. Would... Not enough. Uh, would we be swimming, or would we be on the ground? I suspect you and I are on the ground. Yeah. They're so floating. <laughs> they would be floating, but they're all attached to us. Right. So, so, they, so, floating, so, so the water, so, so the water gets to sort of chest high on the, you know, on everybody and keeps going and everyone that's light enough sort of floats along with it. Those of you wearing armor just kind of sit there. So do I. Okay. I have very heavy armor. Oh, that's right. You yeah. Have oh, armor. I'm okay. Yes. Uh, yes. plate. So yeah. Simi and Akarai and Cabbage st- are bobbing <laughs> up at the t- at the surface. <laughs> And you, you you are feeling the rope, sort of you know tight around your waist, and the rest of the you know the other three are sinking under the under the the water as the room fills. There's still that little bit of panic in Simi's mind because she's not used to being able to breathe water as it gets closer and closer. She's like, "This will be okay. This will be okay." You're doing the mouse <laughs> panic from the abyss. <laughs> Right. And, and then it's um, it gets to a point where the the ropes go taut, and the water keeps going. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I don't either. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. I can't breathe. Okay, and I swim down to where they are. Okay. Well, you're we're all attached. Yeah, oh. but like I'm. I'm just gonna kind of swim down and try to like tread water. There's a lot of light down down the like, Yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's like, actually not. If you guys I'm, just I'm still spread out, we'll pull them so. in a line. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I will. I'll just cast light so we have a little bit more light. Okay. Uh, and I will point towards the door and shall we walk? Yep. I I am not the lead of this train, so. Oh. Shall we walk? <laughs> yes. All um, right. Mizuki will start walking. Okay. So you guys strike off through the um, through the doors. Um, as Simi sort of thought, the, once the water got to a high enough level, um, there is still a current pressing against you guys, but it is not quite as fierce. Um, so you're able to get out into the main courtyard area. Mm-hmm. Um, looking around, uh, again, the even with your light spell, mm-hmm. um, the, the whole room just sort of fades off in, you um, know, all, all directions, I'll basically. Okay. Um, even, with, even with those, yeah. it sort of fades off into, into the gloom. Um, it's a big room. It, it, it's a it's a fairly big room, and you know it does look like, as I say, it was meant as a parade ground or um, gathering gathering spot for um, for the army. And never mind any tentacles you might see up there or down here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I had those contained. <laughs> but you you have. Essentially, you know, you have essentially freedom of movement in all three dimensions at this point. You, I mean, there's there's paving stones beneath you, or not really paving stones. It looks like they've carved to look like paving stones, but there's there's the stone floor beneath you. But the walls are out. Quarried stone interacted down here to make stones to place on the stone uh, floor. I do that arcana thing that I played where I'm echolocationing the water and just see. See what I can the sense within this gigantic <laughs> room. You absolutely may. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yep. That uh, definitely works. It's only a twelve. It's only a twelve. Okay. Um. Sort of reaching out <clears throat> to your patron through the water. Um. It is. It, it. It does come back faintly because of the distance, but you are able to get sort of a sense of what is around you. Um, There are, on the far side of the chamber, there are a couple of smaller chambers. Um, Your brain sort of labels them as 
staples. They, they have that sort of feel to them. Places where draft horses or war horses or, or heard, you know, work animals, you, you know, work, uh, work animals might be stabled. Yeah. Um, off on one, off in one side chamber, in fact, you, you kind of get a shape that might have been reminiscent of some sort of wheeled vehicle, wheeled contraption, but it's it's hard to tell. It's kind of far gone. Rest in peace. So it's so it's just sort of a <laughs> just sort of a shape, a mass. Um, on the other side of the chamber, um, there's spaces that sort of remind you of um, what you might see in a, a in a keep. Uh, places for you know armor smiths, weapon smiths, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, there are there are passages that sort of lead back, connect back into the service areas of the complex. Um, so so you almost you recognize a path that kind of leads back towards the kitchens where you were before, um, not too long ago. Um, you also get a sense that the whole chamber is is um, actually sort of bell shaped, almost, and um, up towards the top, there's a couple couple of weird anomalies. <laughs> One of them is an enormous hole that sort of leads out into a much larger expanse which you recognize as the lake outside. Okay. Um, and you, you kind of follow that sense on all the way up to the ice where the ice is capping the lake. Okay. And that hole um, is matched by another sort of into the upper levels of the palace structure itself. So almost like someone or something punched through the mountain, through the lake, here into the structure of the Dwarven City. Like a meteor? <laughs> like something that fell from the sky. Something that fell from the sky with a great meteor. amount of force. Can I, can I after detect going through where the atmosphere? it might have impacted in this courtyard? <laughs> So it's not in the courtyard. It's it's actually up above you. Um, it okay. Probably, uh, probably seven or eight levels above you. So about a you know okay. seven you know seven seventy eighty feet above you, okay. and embedded back in the rock, basically right above the throne room you just came out of. Is your best? I mean, that's kind of where it would have gone. Um, that's going to be your best guess. Do I know how I could get there? You're in right, water. Right. You're no, swimming. No, I, I understand that. But, uh, I under, like I understand it. The so entire need to the entire thing down. is submerged. No, I yes. understand that it's observed. So in order to get to where the impact thing was, we would have to go up through that hole. That mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's just. What I mean, I'm not doing. not out into the lake. Right. If, but if yes. this is the room we're in, mm -hmm. it came in over here's the lake. It right. came in here. Mm -hmm. And then it didn't come out at the very bottom, it came right. out over there, so we have to swim up to that one. Right. Uh, I will uh, gesture point to the the hole. Uh, we did decide, I think, that you can talk. It just doesn't... Okay. Uh, it, it carries further. Yeah, yeah it carries <clears throat> further. So the high noises the, don't. The, yeah, the high end gets attenuated, so there's it's a lot more bassy, and the, but the bass or the, the low sounds travel farther. Oh, in other words, Milo can't speak then. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Ow. Burn. Uh, I will say uh, that's probably where we need to go uh, through that hole right there. That's probably where the impact crater. Uh, yeah, no I one like, else can see the hole. I'd like to look off into the darkness. I gesture in that in a general direction, saying there's a hole that way that uh, will take us uh, to probably where the impact of the meteor was. Does that help us? Well, is I mean, that if where we, we find it, that go? might be where uh, 
that might be where the Dwarf King might reside. I mean, I guess it's better than Assuming Also, that have, if Mal right? isn't already dead and we find the shard At this point, he and probably deprive is. the king of his power. Or Fair draw enough. the king out anyway. That's... So. None of these are bad options. Yeah, right. I don't know where else to look for uh, Mal right Mizuki now. So sure. will start leading everyone forward. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I, I was waiting for this. <laughs> so, yeah, he pointed up. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be some work. Yeah. Okay. And so, so um, are you gonna? Are you going to attempt this to swim? We will help those of us who are agile and buoyant because we don't have armor. Like we can at least assist. Well, I can do it okay. just because I have a swim speed. I need so. to put a note in Killian's notes to make little influence. Um, <laughs> can I? Can I like? Can I make something with that? I don't know. Use your anyway. pants. Um, add air bladders to everyone's armor. So when we're water, just inflate them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she'll. She will swim, I guess. So. Okay. I will assist her with my swim speed. All right. And I will try to. So for, I mean, for, simplicity's sake. Uh, we will we will it say sucks, that but we do it. yeah we will say that it sucks but you guys do it but it's going to take you a little while so while we're doing while you guys are doing that Mal is dying I'm going to go back to Mal do we need okay. to leave or are we good no you guys are good okay. I'm sorry Mal I'm <laughs> trying so so you remember where we left off and you remember what was kind of happening in in that moment in that time. And I forget what I well, I forget what her name was. I don't think I had it. So, um, <laughs> Lady Dwarf. Give me a second. I think Here. I've done it. What? I never knew you could do that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm just looking at my. You can so Jarana. Um, oh, sorry. Jarana. Yeah, it is. Well, okay. Amazing. So, uh, so Jorana, having done what she did, sort of, you, you see the life drain from her eyes and her grip on your, on your, on the front of your clothes sort of weakens and she just kind of slides to the floor. He'll just sort of, like, he, he's going to uh, reach down and rip mm -hmm. off. Uh, well, he'll probably have to cut it off. He's going to reach down, grab the knife that she used to stab him with, mm -hmm. and he's going to cut off a quick strip from his uh, pants, mm -hmm. and he's just going to shove Stuff it in the wound. It. What wound? Oh, it's closed. It has closed up. So he just cuts off a piece of his pants and goes to put it in, and he's like, ah, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Sacrifice those pants for nothing. These were important. And there is, uh, there is sort of uh, a, the, the, the king s sitting up on his throne. <laughs> is now just glaring at you. Okay, he's gonna... What he's, did she do? He's gonna grab her sword, throw his shadow up onto the throne. Okay. And switch places, and then he's just gonna swing with her sword. With her sword. Okay. Um, all right. What are the stats of the killing sword of doom? <laughs> all right. Um, give... Just so I know how this is how this is rolling out, roll me an initiative. Eighteen plus three is twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Um, he actually has an in initiative before you do. Okay. So, um, not by much, but he do he does. But I did roll it. He's got a twenty-two. Um, so as you sort of appear beside him and start to swing, um, he is going to, um, out of his chest, there is going to be a pseudopod that flicks out and, um, attempts to tag you. Uh, 19. Hits. All right. Oh my God. 
<laughs> it's a mimic. He's actually attached to the chair. The chair is part of the whole cavern. Right, so the whole cavern is a mimic. So you're going to take yeah. 10 oh, points of bludgeoning damage. For 10 minutes. Yeah. And He's wearing mimic armor. Slowly being digested. Five yes. points of psychic damage. And then it's going to eat a memory. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, yes. Um, so make me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Good luck with that. that great. Sound great. <laughs> well, I can't wait to get these powers. <laughs> One day. 14. Off of my 16. <laughs> So that fails. Yep. <laughs> that fails. Um, you will take an additional 10 points of psychic damage. Okay. And you feel sort of unbidden. A, a memory sort of bubble up out of your brain and get sucked almost physically through this pseudopod that has a hold of you. Um Oh, sorry, I just... Keith, what noise does it make as it gets sucked? No. <laughs> I, I, I Nothing, imagine... actually, because it is a psychic sucking. I imagine, not a... I imagine it sounds like when sucking. you... I imagine it sounds like when you pull, like, a shower curtain, it's just like, ting, 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 ting from the rings. Oh. So... Psychic sucking. That's so... Oh, yeah. and, then the, and then the memory is gone. So which which memory do you want to lose as of this moment? All right, let's see here. Mal is about 28, 29, so we'll go like this. So is it that memory and everything that's attached to that memory, or is it like the memory of a specific time period? So what uh, what are you what are you thinking? Well, I was just, I'm rolling year four. There's something in year four of his life. Okay. Um, A memory of Grand Grand Stew. I mean, what would, what would have been something, something, yeah, something key years. for you? I mean, that probably would have been like first memories. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. earliest memories. Trust building memories. Playing with his father. So the some of the games he played as a kid. Okay. So so that that relationship building those those games are for are just gone. I mean, you can feel that there's a this sort of black hole in your brain. You know something is missing, but you can't for the life of you recall what. You just know something is gone. Uh, roll the d4. <laughs> you cannot have my pain. Three. Okay. You've got to subtract that from your ability checks or attack rolls. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. So oh, the mama. So kill it from far, far away. <laughs> oh, Use your shadow. <laughs> so it was far away fire. Okay. <laughs> And that is its turn. Okay. So 17 plus... Things? Uh, b -b 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 plus 7 is 24 to hit. Minus 3. Oh, minus 3. 21 to hit. Um, 21 will still hit. Okay. And then what am I rolling here? Is it just a regular D8? Yeah, it's just a regular D8. Okay. So that is going to be uh, eight points of slashing damage. All right. He will swing again and miss. Okay. That's my turn. Did your shadow not get an attack? Uh, I. It was a bonus action to put it out, and then I switched places with it, which is 15 okay. feet of my movement, and then it is down below me. I have to... So since you are now here right next to him, um, make me a perception check. <laughs> Not 
15. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. Minus 3. Thir uh, 12. I mean, it's not, it, it's not a hard check, because it's right there, um, sort of, so the, th the throne itself is just sort of, um, like jutting out from extruded the wall. from the wall, um, but right behind it, where the throne meets the wall, there are textures in the rock okay um, on either side of it and it's an almost it's an almost scaly texture and an ovoid shape okay uh -oh. <laughs> and is that attached to anything particularly or like embedded in the wall it, or? it just looks like it's embedded in the wall okay Um, and then the other thing would be, so the arrows were just sort of like getting pulled out of him earlier. What is happening with the cut from the blade? Is that also just like not there anymore? Um, it is, yeah, it is starting to sort of fill back in and, it's like cutting and through jello. cover, you know, <laughs> and, and, and it do doesn't look like it's necessarily healing but it's definitely feeling back, filling back in, and, and you're not able to see where the where the strikes happened. Okay. I knew we shouldn't have crossbred that gelatinous cube in that mimic. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even say that? <laughs> oh, that's great. Strangely enough, even the clothes seem to be the wounds seem to be closing up on the clothes. Gotcha. Okay. Um. All right, so we're gonna find out the king is just the the lure on an angler fish. <laughs> oh no! We are in a lake. We are in a lake. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What, what the hell does this thing eat that can be this a, big? It's a fairly like dragon. So. Lake monster. Yep. Everybody needs a lake monster, I guess. Yeah. So there are other sort of like buds that pop off. Mm. And it's not so much that they pop off, but there are buds that sort of bubble up and extrude out on thin like lines of pseudopod and surround you. And it's a mimic. <laughs> the more he describes it. The, the more it seems like a mimic. mimic. <laughs> and as they go, they start to take shape. They start to take form. And um, on either side of you, you see the Kinku Mayor and her child. And you start to hear voices oh, of other Kinkos behi Kinkus behind you. Um, and there are there are four of these pods that are now surrounding you. Oh, he plays dirty. Kinkus. Like, from his bad memory stuff, like, he's yeah. messing with him. Um, and... <laughs> it is going to attempt to hit you with its pseudopod again. But I'm guessing that a 15 is going to miss. Yes, thank goodness. One more time, what is the sound the pseudopod makes? No. That was that a lot was of Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Yeah. More, 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 like a, <laughs> more like a whip. So he's going to take this sword that he has picked up and he is trying to drive it immediately between the king's eyes. Okay. And he's just going to leave it there if, it, if he can get it there. Like, okay. 
He's just going to shove it to the hilt as far as he can. Brutal. Please. Uh, let's see. Minus three. Nineteen. Nineteen will hit. I'm actually going to give you one for that description of the. Yeah. Popping the oh, pot. That will be. Um, plus. It is. Twelve points of, of damage. Okay. So he's just going to drive that in. He's throwing out his shadow towards the egg. Okay. And then he is switching places with it, leaving his shadow in that mess. And he's the whole time. So from the moment he starts that stab, he's screaming, They're gone! Okay. Make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay. Man, you know, normally I would say, I think we picked the wrong person to go do this. Except we didn't pick anyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Minus five. I don't know how much that's going to help you, man. Right? <laughs> All right. Thirteen. That's <laughs> better. better. Roll an eighteen. Yeah. Not enough to save, but hey. Yeah, my biggest. I mean, a natural twenty still gets me only fifteen. So. Okay. All right. So you are, you are sort of able to hold on, you know, hang on to your sanity a little bit, despite <laughs> the the mental anguish that is just watching over you from from seeing that. Okay. So break. I've switched places. That's yep. So we're going to break away from that. And we're going to come back to you guys. Um, you have made your way up laboriously. Um, Killian is sort of weighing down Akurai on one arm. Um, Mizuki is weighing down whoever's got you uh, on one arm. Uh, I, so I, could, I can help Mizuki. See, see me. So you're helping Mizuki? I'm helping Mizuki. Okay. Okay. Because I'm the only one with the fly speed, and she's probably got the heaviest set of armor. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, so you guys that, uh, have have managed to swim your way up the the eighty feet up to this hole, and and it is just a a looking at it, it is just obvious that something has come crashing into it at tremendous speed. The edges of the hole are obviously had been molten rock flash frozen by the water mm-hmm. as as they came into contact with each other but it's like it's cool. been stretched and and pulled out of out of form and and deformed more than broken almost and it goes um it goes out of sight and we're following the path of destruction this thing made to whatever its origin is right to see if we can find the uh we're hoping to find the find the, the uh, shard. proverbial bullet. Okay. Yeah. And if not, maybe that might be we could find wherever it landed. And maybe that's where we might find the king. Maybe. Yeah. God, I hope Mel's there. Uh, I'll so follow that line. Of... Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so the line <laughs> of destruction is downhill, mm-hmm. somewhat. You know, following. What you are recognizing is is sort of a the arc of something streaking in from overhead. Um, you know, you you kind of get that sense of you know from from yep everything, um, and you guys follow it down, and it goes perhaps fifty seventy you know fifty to seventy five feet into this rock wall. Um, narrowing as it goes until you come to the end. And at the end, you can see sort of protruding somewhat from the bottom of this shaft. Um, Mud and silt has sort of collected in the bottom of it, and protruding out of that only slightly is a shallow dome that has sort of a rocky appearance, but almost a, a scale-like appearance as well. Did we cut it uh, open? <laughs> what you want to do, Dragon Man? <laughs> What's the uh, protocol for 
for big dragon eggy looking I things. Apparently, say alone. a silent <laughs> prayer to whatever <laughs> entity may listen, and I will go to That's grab it. That's dangerous um, territory. Uh, I know I it's very dangerous also territory. Be praying for my. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, Justice, you back yet? <laughs> well, now would okay. be the time. I will be praying for Milo's safety. No, no, no. For before, before, well, before I do this, uh, I remember one of the. Make me a religion check. One okay. of the. Uh, I talked to one of like an elder kobold of the creation kobolds. Okay. Was I told anything would happen if I picked this thing up? Because I did ask a ton of questions about that. And he didn't ask about, like, what would happen if, like, would he if be I, able to, like, absorb this one? And I know I can absorb multiple ones. But right. I, and I did, I think I did ask what would happen if I just, like, picked it up. It's like combining it antimatter like, and matter. Something <laughs> just immediately happen. cancels both out. You become a normal person <laughs> at first level. Like, <laughs> underwater. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. And all of us then drown. <laughs> well, okay. Guys. Right. You get the sense that that they're all kind of flying blind, they're because not the only ones. because it's <laughs> it's unprecedented what has happened. Okay, who do we now? Let me be clear. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I will. Uh, We're just gonna say the it's because round I'm far away thing. from any civilization. Okay. So. <laughs> So again, you, it, it, you're, you're just kind of seeing the, the very tip top of it. I'll just let it like slowly move some silt away. Okay, so you, you start moving the silt away from the sides. A giant eyeball opens up. And, um, you know, so. it, it's, it goes from being about, <laughs> you know, six inches across. Mm -hmm. no, that's, yeah, that's, that's, about six inches. that's about six inches to 12 inches. I'm going to come over and help. Oh no. <coughs> yeah, me too. Keith. So it gets to the point where you would have to to put your arms all the way out to get your arms oh, no. about halfway around it. Mm -hmm. Um uh... and it it's it's got kind of like a scaly texture, but it looks mm -hmm. like stone. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I don't know if this will work underwater, but Kelly's gonna try and tap on it and see if he can like does this seem uh... hollow? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's an egg. So you sure tap on it. Freaking village. It's that thing. That's yep. what we and found the spaceships. <laughs> yes. Something yeah. comes back. <laughs> Actually, it, it it feels a little hollow, oh, no. and and then. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh. Well, in that case, I'm gonna. Is this a thing that we should? Um. Familiar number two. <laughs> I have okay. ideas, but what do you want? Sorry. Well, I, mean... I have ideas, but what do you want to do? This is a terrible, terrible, uh, terrible thing. Give me like a minute. We need to find out. Like make, this is our best chance, right? Quick. What if that's Mal? I don't think it's Mal. I mean, no. I don't think so either, Mal. but what else do we have? In the middle of your fight, you can see her on the outside of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one knocking? I mean, I don't know. I'm the one who knocks. We like, the fight again. stops and both you and the king are like... <laughs> Did you invite somebody? <laughs> I didn't invite you. somebody. <laughs> what does your ring uh, doorbell say? Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Um, so the, the back of this egg as it's sitting there is fused into a wall a wall of stone um i mean i feel like the other side legitimately is his egg but you know it's fine <sighs> well uh i don't like this i mean my I first inclination to is to try and punch through that i can do that I, Give me a second to see maybe if um, I can talk to. Anything that is in uh, there is going to drown. Immediately. Well, <laughs> give, yeah. Give me a second to uh, talk to this thing real quick and That's see if why they have any. Uh, her. Yeah. If we have, if I can like gleam any insight from. Uh, to make it my this own. is why we save control. Uh, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control water for long enough for me to put a door up. 
Can I, uh, I mean, can I attempt to, uh, valid. talk through my I... patron and get some insight on, uh, this? Because I was, I was, I, I, not to say I was expecting something smaller, but I wanted to get some insight on what, like, is this what I'm supposed to be looking for? I was sleeping. I mean, I have ten minutes. So, make, make me your arcana check. You you have advantage okay. because you are in water at the moment. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Henry. Make you need to advice. do all your thinking in the tub. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. That checks out, man. Right. I mean, it works for me. <laughs> um, the sense you get back is. It's not exactly family, but it kind of is. It, there's also a sense of like oneness and part of a whole okay. and affirmation. Okay. Uh, if, so you say it, it has fused into a stone wall? We're basically mm -hmm. seeing part of this whatever it is and it's fused into the wall. Okay. Um, Do we punch through? We don't have to punch. Yeah, we should probably punch through. Uh, do you have a way to uh, give this thing water breathing? Oh, should the time come um, or... Well, they're just that. I'm going to take actually, a swing at this. I... Just, just in case, because yep. I don't know if this oh, thing okay. can uh, um... breathe. All right. I don't actually, actually, before Killian does that, well, I don't know I if have, I, don't know I, have I have hear it, but I'm going to be like, so I if, you're, if you're near the, yeah. the wall, so, you should probably move away. Well, he's okay. Meep. No. <laughs> um. And then. Well, All right. If I get a second familiar, that would be but super cool. Or is this an I attack have... roll or athletics? It's going to be an attack roll. Okay. Um. And because you are underwater, it's a disadvantage. It's at disadvantage. Can I try to help? Because at this point, it's a terrible. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess. Just punching. Just punching. punching. You're just punching. punching. Basically. That's going to be a 14. Okay. And that is not going to be enough. So, <laughs> And it's like hitting a stone wall. I, I got this. Actually, I can, when I hit, if you, um, mm -hmm. there is a concussive blast from my gloves. Yeah, with a plus eight. I, feel I like don't know if that okay. seems to do. Yeah, okay. We're going to let the puncher punch. <laughs> okay, what's the AC so I know what I'm... Uh, we don't know. Okay. You gotta, you gotta okay. start telling him things. Uh, I can okay. tell you, fourteen um, didn't work. Fourteen didn't work. Okay, so okay. Well, that, one, could, that one won't work. Everything that else one, that should. one might. Well, you yeah, ask. yeah. Everything else at least is higher than that, though. So that takes that guy out. Uh, A seventeen. Some uh, ba -ba -ba. One of them is definitely not gonna be hard enough because the first one I'm adjusting to being underwater, and the. Uh, the next one I've got uh, 17. 17, and then there's one that is a 21, yeah. So, uh, those, 17, 21? You say that like there's been good options no. earlier. <gasps> a, a 21? 21. 21 does not. I mean, it is a dragon egg, so. It's not going to work. <laughs> well, I suppose um, I, can, I can give it a try. I can egg. try. What if you just touch it? Just like... Will it? Lick it. Okay, I'll try that. I will... <laughs> oh, Wait. <laughs> I'll lick it. I will do the first option, which is to... My saliva dissolves uh, it. Use, use my magical ability to will it to crack. <laughs> Open. Sesame. Um, you try to convince it to... Okay. okay. Or I can just. Can you roll uh, I mean, what are you? What 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 are you? I mean, what? Are, how how are you Chan trying? Uh, channeling my magic to kind of uh, uh, flow across the egg to kind oh, that's of. That's uh, word for friend. <laughs> Melon. Melon. <laughs> Lamb chops. No wait. Lamb, Lamb chops. chops. <laughs> it's like um, the old Corvin word, except nicer. <laughs> Rotisserie. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to be <coughs> those things like okay, that. Okay, so 21 doesn't uh, hit. You're good. Okay. okay. I guess. You, you close, but not quite. I'm just uh, deciding if the next bundle might actually do something. We'll see. Um, um, so 21 is my lowest one mm-hmm. on the next one. So you're... <laughs> Lick it next. <laughs> I mean... So, you, so you're just trying to channel... What? My power to try and get this thing to. Uh, I mean, you said crack. that you feel like a, a wholeness. Right. So absorb it. Connects to that wholeness, like it yeah, wants lick to it. the whole. <laughs> connect to the to the wholesomeness of this thing. My mind is just a wholesome. Yeah, not not what I said, but okay. Um. All. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just get a hand, go get it all out. Waters and help with the friction. Did you bring your cork popper? Okay. Make me an arcana check. Sure. Go well. Six. Oh, um, word. So, so you kind oh, of connect. Okay. Probably gonna die. You kind of connect with your 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 <laughs> magical <laughs> essence and sort of try to embrace the wholeness of this <laughs> egg, and you 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 feel it closing in. And, like, so close to the egg that you can't actually perceive any gap at all between the two, your magic is just stopped. Oh, okay. And rebuffed. Punch it. (laughs) Okay. Alternatively, I do have a more aggressive option. More aggressive than punching it. Yeah, you remember how I cleared all those rocks out of our way that one time? Do you want to kill whatever inside? I, I said it's more aggressive. I don't know if I should use it. I'm just... Uh, let's, it's an option. Let's, another let's see what happens when um, Mizuki... Uh, when, uh, uh, what are you yeah, so just see me punches the kid. Yeah, yeah, let's just let huh? Mizu and, and Milo it. take care of it. It's fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They've already got the wet part down, so... We're in water. The only hard part is we're all wet now. <laughs> I am going to do another trio of punches. One of them's going to miss because it was a 21. The other one is a 22. And then the third is way up there. Okay. So those two are going to hit. Okay. Oh, so My yeah, yeah. word. Okay. So that's going to be 10 plus. So that's going to be 16 points of whole damage. <laughs> I don't know, can you maybe try and talk to the thing through the wall and get it to the Oh, that's right, I, do, I can talk to um, <laughs> it. And what are, what are okay. you doing? Which you do have, we probably want to save. Yeah. What? what? Um, are you doing something down there? I am sword. going to pray again. Oh, okay, that works <laughs> too. Okay. I'll just smack it again. Okay. Um, I am going to pray to Vinas. And (laughs) (laughs) you know, and ask, is there a way to use my channel divinity for a door to appear? Um, and ask if there's a way um, to preserve this creature um, while helping. I know what the answer's gonna be. Whoa. <laughs> what egg? It's gonna be like when I prayed about it. Yeah. What, what egg? What are you talking about? What creature? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because oh, they don't okay. see magic from this yeah. other place. Okay, um, they are the least informed gods ever. Well, it's hard to it's hard. inform yourself when you can't see what I it guess. is. Yeah. Um, it's in an egg. It's like a. <laughs> Stone. I'm not sure what, what kind of creature it is. What egg? <laughs> <laughs> um. It there's it's a very large egg. It's a lot more persistent with this than. There's a, it's a very large <laughs> egg. Like, it's like, um okay. in the yeah. lake. Um. It's by, no pocket. It, that you I guess it hit the right Dormant here. City. There's a um, okay. We followed the like 
point of it. Anyway, we found this impact. It's embedded in this stone. The negative stone. Part. Look for the egg-shaped void. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and um, there's something inside of it. We're not sure what it is. I'm... But we would what like... What kind of god has been us? Is he a, oh, you should help it? Or is he a, you should kill it? Mm -hmm. I mean... He's lawful neutral. Yeah. Um, civilization for the point of civilization. So step yeah. on that. Kill the bug. Well, Just... um... <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're my girl on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Go you! I have nothing to offer because I... I can't see it. I can't. I, I, I trust you. I trust you. Good luck. I trust you. We'll just have to whatever, like, whatever you, right. whatever the you come up right with. In front of my hands. Can you just yeah. make it? Um, not. Okay. <laughs> just watch me. Just, I will touch the hole of it. Like. <laughs> I, I, I mean, something that is good through. That's good at breaking through stone. <laughs> what do you think I am? A mason? <laughs> Well, civilization. Civilization. I mean, I, mean, I designed it. I didn't build it. <laughs> I'm Athena, not Hephaestus. I mean, I suppose mining tools might help if it looks like it's made out of stone. Maybe. <gasps> okay, what? Well, we still have those climbing tools, don't we? The pittance. I yes. mean, we yes, do. Yes, we do. So while you guys let's pull those out. While yep. you guys are, are working on that, yeah. back inside, let's pull those stumped out. by the egg shell. <laughs> back inside. Do I hear arguing? <laughs> you don't hear arguing, but you did hear. Tink, 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 tink. tink. Great. He's summoned his army to kill me too. <laughs> Um, uh, it, which I believe it, it is actually his turn. Um, so, so two of the two of the. Sorry, Keith. I'll wait. It's fine. Um, so, so two of the the apparitions sort of close in around your shadow. And start, um, you know, circling it. Um, the other two sort of turn and start moving up towards you, closing back in with you. Um, while he's doing... Oh, wait, wait. But are they leaving where my shadow was then? Is there an opportunity attack for my shadow? Um, yeah. For whatever it means to attack a pseudopod? Yeah. <laughs> That, that's a nope. Okay. And they just, they, they sort of close in with you. It doesn't appear as though he's being aggressive with those. It, it's more like just trying to press on your psyche with, with the memory. Makes sense. As they approach her, they're going, oh, gosh, oh, um, And then he is going to lash out with an, another actual pseudopod attack. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. 18? I just, figured, I just figured it out. I just figured it out. Continue, continue. Okay. <laughs> and that is his turn. You're really lucky he's only attacking once. Alright. So how far away is the king from where I am specifically? Uh, he's... I mean... About five to ten feet away. I mean, okay. he, he's close, but he's not, like, right right there, right there. Okay, then the next question is... Is the sword still embedded? Yes. Okay. So... Wiggle it around inside it. So Mal is going to... Wait. Is that an action? Sorry. Go through stone. Mm -hmm. Literally. Yeah, never mind. I also um, Mal is going to sort of gather himself. 
He's going to put his shield in front of him as he, like, he's trying to block off the, as much of his view of these things as he can as he's running. Okay. He is going to full barrel into the king. What he is trying to do okay. is he is going to drop his shadow onto the king's shoulders. So it is standing on the king's shoulders. He is going to run full force. And at the last second, he's going to switch with the shadow and try to grab the king's head and push off, Whoa. taking the king's head with him. <laughs> Basically using the, the sword as a lever to pop off the king's head. <laughs> using his momentum while he switches. Just pulling the spine out of the body. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. I, uh, yeah, oh aside God. from which I really freaking want this to work. I don't think it's going to Use work. all of them. But I mean, I, I still have a minus three, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. An okay. Idea. Um, it's gonna be like when you grab one of the gummy things and start pulling, and it just stretches. So oh. make make me a make Why? me a make an athletics check. Okay. The features of the king's face just start to get deformed and stretched out, like no. Gumby. Yep. No. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Woo! So, so you are you wrap your arm around his head, sort of under his neck, underneath the sword, and you start hauling. Um, you kind of do this sort of kick flip off his shoulders, getting your whole weight behind it, and you feel his neck give way. But it doesn't separate. Oh. Oh. And it just elongates. It just elongates. And you've got you've got a hold of his head as you drop the the twelve and a half feet to the floor of the of the chamber. There ain't any candy in here. And there's just this line of of stretched out neck leading back to his shoulders back the whole way that you came. This man is made of Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Alright. That was a really good idea. That was my that was all I've got. It's okay. uh, I, I... <laughs> From your arms. And that was mere, mere physical uh, you know, f from underneath your arms, <laughs> the mere physical cannot stop me, boy. Oh, that sucks, because 90% of our magic is gone. <laughs> like, man, if yeah. you can just get us in the room, we'll be, I'll be like, okay. <laughs> you should try tying it in a knot. bitch. <laughs> can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you come in and you just put it so he can't? What the hell happened in here? <laughs> it's just this <laughs> rubber band ball. <laughs> Up above you, the king's body sort of topples forward <laughs> and does a flip in front of you. And as it, it, as it goes, his neck sort of spreads out into a thin sheet. His body turns into a thin sheet and it just falls down and has domed you what on the floor. <laughs> You're fighting Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. You are uh, inside the king. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, that's, get out. that's, get out. that's one yeah. way to get the throne. <laughs> I hate myself. It's fine. <laughs> you <can> Disgusting. Um... <laughs> <laughs> And then from this dome, Pseudopod is going to shoot out. Of course. Uh, all of his apparitions are on the outside That's of, of the something dome. something at least. So. But a 12 is not going to hit. Oh, good. So. Alright. That'll be you. Were, was any of that stuff magical that you had? <laughs> I I have Every, zero magic no, items. Oh. Mere, physic, you know, mere physical damage won't work, so light him on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
why? Get some oil out of your you, bag. You couldn't have waited to you got a lot of alcohol. ask. You know, I could have given you a magical weapon. Literally. Was the one that you yeah, took from he, her not magic? Yeah, but you didn't have enough chance. You decided to. I like, know, oh, I know. We, we have, we had no. other than the couple that we found and some stuff Killian's made, we have like no magic items. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, this is a no magic make, world. So. I have two. I can make magic. I have uh, Alma's charlatan clothes and I've got that hair shirt of. I have yeah. obsidian daggers. And your cloak. So Mal still and holding clothes. this head. And there was a crown on it, right? There's yeah. a crown on it. I just... Grab the crown and the crown's <laughs> gonna stretch too. Oh <laughs> uh, um, no! That was sort of just an aside, not a not a not a okay. relevant take question. The crown <laughs> on his head and slice him with slices through him with the point again. Cool. No, take it and stab it in his eye. <laughs> yeah. Because that's better than sending a spray. I don't know if this is a magical crown. <laughs> Actually, is that it magic true. damage thing? Wait, true. Do you still have the rod? Yeah. <laughs> just start beating. <laughs> the rod? The rod? Yeah, the magic that, that, rod. That is a magic rod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> magic <laughs> damage, ever bitch. I'm loving hell out of him with that rod. Uh, why are you, I took a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Thanks for my. Oh no, you're actually thinking about it. <laughs> well, I mean, what else is he gonna do? Wait for us to come save him. He doesn't know He's, he's gonna, gonna die. die. It's gonna take like five years. years. You, guys are, you guys are still fighting the army of things that were attacking you. We took care of that. Aside from which, if he waits for us, he might legit die because we still haven't gotten through yet. We're still trying to try and pierce an egg. All right. Okay, we have fun. And then there's a kobold and another side of the egg to get through. I do have an idea. Though. What? Oh, we could just really push. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, but <laughs> if so, he's gonna use his action so for this one. So if egg is like melded into the wall, oh, it has to mean that it's yeah, it's a on reaction. The other side okay. Because Never mind. whatever is in there has come. So that'll out. that'll happen for his. So we've got to find the weak spot along the wall. Do we know that it's coming? Um, out? Okay. Well, I assume that that's where the shard came from. And we're going to do we this slightly differently. So but Mal is going no, we to... Can, we, we, no, we, we no, guess no, that no, it no. might be. We yeah. No. Well, so, we King's head in one arm. He's going to slam his foot into the ground, and it's going to sink maybe a quarter inch. And as he does so, the ground is going to race up and over him. And he's going to say, hit me now! And he's going to start just punching this King's head. So, um, what is happening? What is this? He is casting Armor of Agathus. Oh, oh nice. my god. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Alright, so that is, that is your turn, and we're going to go back to the Keystone Cops. Okay, so... <laughs> While they're I think if I we put, should use... When she's not hitting it. If I put my hand on the egg, I, do I feel we any other vibrations I, or any? Okay, I think we should try with the make, climbing. Tools. Make me a perception check. Well, um, we that think... would be better than just punching. Oh, it. we can this, do both at the same time. We can almost assume that there's some sort of shard, something that was connected to this egg, but maybe it got out on the other side. So, what if we try to get into the weak spot where it's connected to the wall? We can yes, try you it. are feeling um, movement sort of. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We have no idea whether it's open. We have no idea where. We don't have a good idea. No, we don't even know if it's not really. But it might be a weaker I mean, spot where it's. Th that not that you can so feel it at all. It's probably pretty big. Realistically, I don't imagine it's going to be worse to do it here. Okay. Shatter the the egg. Let me try talking to it and see what happens. I can, I can, I rolled an unnatural 20 investigation check. I want to check around the sides of the eggs, like where it's meeting the wall. Okay. To see if there's any weak points where I think we might be able to get in that way. <laughs> One moment. Was there a map? No. Yeah, oh. Chipper, I'm sorry. I don't remember how to do that. Mm -hmm. She really wants to bless Steven. Oh, <laughs> I've forgotten how to there's there's not enough work. blessing in this um, world. <laughs> we can try. Rank. I don't know 
Yeah. Just donate and then tell us that they, that going it toward might blessing be because uh, Transformers <laughs> Yeah, we need to fix that. I, yeah. We keep meaning to, and we don't. Yeah, Sorry. it has been a while. No, it's okay. So Cabbage is gonna. I can't. Start poking around the side of the egg. Wait. Okay, hold on. That there's the, this little stone lip thingy, and I think if we just like. And as she pushes <gasps> on it, it pushes. It moves. Slightly. And she falls into the egg. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's moving. Oh, cool! Oh, push harder. I'm um, help. Uh, I will help. <coughs> Be ready for push. the control water. Just just All right. Push. So everyone make me a... Just make me an athletics <laughs> check. Athletics? Okay. That's a conk. Well, that's... 18. 7. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> for a 19. For a 19. <laughs> that's your third 20 tonight. Like he, had like he had like 85 ones. Like, it's actually, it's his fourth. 19. 19, natural 20. 18. But this never happened. 18. I rarely roll natural 20. 7. Wow. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Really. And Jeez. I have... And I have... You have, a, you have a huge strength. That is... Wow. Also 7? <laughs> <laughs> So I cancel both of those out, <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just to these rolls to determine. What you got there, Killian? I got a 19. Oh, you got it. Oh, we're okay. We'll, we'll make this happen. So all of you sort of space yourself out around this thing and start <laughs> pushing on the the egg, and it starts moving you in. Blob dome. <laughs> and. Oh. <laughs> You know, it, it takes a little bit of doing, but it inch by inch starts moving in, starts pushing its way in. It doesn't feel like there's anything behind it holding it. And after a couple, five, ten, fifteen seconds of you guys pushing, it sort of just pops loose and drops out of sight. And the, and the water's and the water starts rushing in. Uh, do we need to go grab that? <laughs> now, <laughs> that's where natural water comes in. Underneath the kingdom. Oh, maybe not. Ew. You mean you mean in the in kingdom? kingdom? <laughs> in the kingdom. Oh, no. um, There's an E. You you kind of. I mean, it's it, it's stretch. He has stretched himself enough that he's he's not transparent, but he's kind of translucent. Damn. You can kind of start to see yep. nice through him in places, yep. and you see where the throne was. The throne sort of falls away and comes crashing to the floor, and an egg gets pushed out into the room and it doesn't crash all the way to the floor. It kind of does one of these sort of pendulum swings and settles back about 10 feet off the floor in the center of the room. And right behind it, this jet of water comes rushing in. <laughs> all of the rest of you who have not yet done so, roll me initiative rolls. And your friends come oh. spew in for her. Today it started oh, out bad, that but it is one. slowly getting better. Uh, 18. 18? Did you touch my dice? No, I didn't touch anybody's dice! I got real disoriented. I got a nat one. I mean, you are currently in a toilet, so... Yeah, I feel like it's fair. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Counteract. Yeah. <laughs> There must be I'm usually not first okay. at rolling initiative because my deck is bad. <laughs> 21. 21. Mizuki was just ready. <laughs> uh, between the two of you, who's got the higher decks? Oh, uh, between us? I've got a plus three. I also have a plus three. Rollies. <laughs> What's your number? Uh, 16. So is mine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. No, one. you can go first. Okay. How? Oh, oh, no. Poor Stephen. Okay. Fine, <laughs> um, 
but you guys, since you guys are sort of coming in disoriented, um, the king will go first, and then on the next round, so it'll be the king, uh, Mal, and then on the next round, you'll be top of the order. Okay, perfect. So, so we are going to come come back around to you. I just wanted to give you a sort of a this is what's happening kind of deal. That's fair. Thanks, Chipper. Now, for the rest of you guys, you're disorient. Well, you know what? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. So the 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 king. <clears throat> Real quick, Chipper just gave uh, Mal inspiration. It looks like. Yes. A D4. Yep. Sure thing. Okay. As I proceed to roll one and still have a minus two. <laughs> but you still um, have some inspiration left, right? Oh, yeah. So, so the, you've still got the king sort of under your arm. And... All of this is going on sort of behind him and he's going to, his head is going to slip. He's going to like suck it in. And you see the face sort of reform on the sheet over you in, invert itself and look up and then re, re, revert and look back down at you. What Screw you, sir! So Screw you, sir! The and then he's gonna make a he's gonna make a pseudopod attack on you one more time. I'd like to politely ask you to go to hell. <laughs> uh, a, an unnatural twenty. Let's let's reroll that. What? But oh, is that the first way you armored a magathist? Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna lose a memory. Oh, true. Eighteen oh. miss. <laughs> All right, so it's whoosh, and whips out at you and misses. Um, now it is your turn. I don't know what to do now. Uh, okay, so he's going to sort of like... So internally, he is asking, can I do that thing that Milo does? Okay, be more specific. The, the like, the, the pew pew. <laughs> the pew pew. The pew pew. The shooty thingy. <laughs> the earth shot. The not bow and arrow, bow and arrow. The 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 like. <laughs> I want to shoot things out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm inside the key. Uh, no, no. Oh no. Oh I would sorry, give you a, sorry, that's though. a really grudging inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you one of you. He would like to dispute his I, <laughs> I think so. Okay! Why does yours get to talk? <laughs> it's better than yours. Well, you actually have yours, probably. Well, mine's, you know, like shoved into my stomach currently, so. I thought when mine was in my home. I don't know. <laughs> I'll shut up. Now. Was in your where? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> He's also a lot closer to it. All right, because he actually has his, and not just a Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> <laughs> the Wi-Fi's most potty wifi here. <laughs> um, okay, so with the D four and minus the three, which is <laughs> works out to be a minus one. <laughs> Um, does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, and then we'll do the other beam. That's going to miss. For sure, that's going to miss. All right, so 1d10. So, um... I keep looking at my spells, hoping that... Mal's going to try to... Mal's sort of use, trying to use the same, like, energy with... Because the king pulled... When he when he shot him with uh, the gun, it, <coughs> the king sort of like pulled a rock to block it. He's gonna try to sort of be doing the same thing, and he's going to try to channel those rocks from up be from beneath him into the face, and he'll do. Where did it go? Seven points of uh, bludgeoning damage to the face. Okay. To the face. 
All this right. Is, this <laughs> is um, that episode of Doctor Who. Yep. Okay, so you guys are, as you're sort of spurting into this chamber, I will remind you all what it looks like. It is a 25-foot cube, so 25 feet on a side. Um, the egg that you guys pushed into the room is hovering about 10 feet above the floor right in the center. There's a jet of water coming in from where you were. Right below <clears throat> you there are the room... There are stone remains of what looked like it might have been a chair or a seat or a throne of some kind. In the middle of the floor, there is this dome of flesh. something <laughs> that looks vaguely flesh-like. And flesh-colored laffy tag. Coming off of oh. it... Yep. Coming off of it, there are four protrusions oh, that's worse. that look like Kenku. Do, uh, do some of us even know what Point Kenku Point of order. Are? There's I mean, some other things. There is now a dead yeah, dwarf. we've seen the shadow. There is also... Oh, there is a dead... Well, she, she would have been... She's kind of under the dome with you at this point. She oh, okay. is also inside the kingdom. Uh, there... <laughs> Uh, there's also Killian's gun yeah, I, I that would be on the far side of the chamber. Yep. Oh, my baby! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, what else did we drop? Maybe that's it. Yeah, that, that's gonna be it. <laughs> oh, and then all of the arrows. <laughs> so, Mizuki. Yeah. Um... Coming into this scene, that is you, my dear. Okay. Awful. So... Um, one other thing, real quick, before you, before you do that, think about what you're thinking. Okay. Think about what yeah, you're no, thinking. I'm just. Yeah, um, no, you're fine. Milo, you are you are starting to feel sort of a resonance. Okay. With surprisingly not the egg. Okay. But with the the dome, the flesh, the flesh dome. Dome. <laughs> and yeah. something inside it. No. All right. <laughs> Mizuki. Um, Gross. Okay. Gross. <laughs> so if we hatch this egg, do we get a dragon pet? No. <laughs> it's a chia pet. We have to grow things on it. <laughs> um, I He's like, I'm going to keep it alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred flame. up and that's it. Okay. Um, on the... Flesh. The, the, egg. the, the, the egg. dough? Uh, okay. The dough thing. Um. <laughs> oh, is he undead? I forget. No. No? Okay. I don't I think so. He okay. He I not. would probably know. Um, <laughs> anyway... Um, would still be happy yeah, I'm going to do Sacred Flame. Okay. I'm close enough, right? It's 60 feet. Oh, 25 yeah. foot. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Right. No, we're yeah, it's um, a 25 okay, foot cube. Uh, <laughs> You're fine. Sure. No, just making sure. Um, okay. And... It's undead. <clears throat> it is not. Yeah, it must oh, succeed okay, on a deck not. saving throw, which... I'm guessing it... Can the flesh dome Can damage? it... Well... It's also... It's, a sti uh, it's also... I don't know. It's also... Stone. Is it doesn't <clears throat> now have it grappled? I or? used to, until it... Oh, went, okay. Oh, it, no. it now it's got you grappled. No, okay. no, it doesn't. Yeah, pretty much. It does. No, it has anyway. contained, not grappled. <laughs> so what's the DC for that deck save? 16? Um, so, the way that this thing is, just like... Let's see. You control you basically. So. Why not? It's I mean, what's in mouse and mouse? Like, it has to put all spell. the extra somewhere. I, I think we decided it was either 15 or 16, and I don't I remember think which one. I think it was 16. Uh, it's 15. Or 15, yeah. yeah. So is it 15? Yeah, 15. 15. Okay. So it rolled a 15, which means it makes it the it. save. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just barely. Okay. Okay. Um, and, um, okay, 
I will. I don't think that I just turned into. I guess. Pew pew. Um. Can I? Is there a way for me to this? <laughs> Yeah. Just like Milo. Oh, I forgot to take out a full story. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's That's uh, it. Um I might just use my movement and I don't know, like hunch down behind my shield. <laughs> okay. Fair yeah. enough. It's gonna make it is gonna make a pseudopod attack against you. <clears throat> yep. Thirteen? No, 15. 15. Still misses. Luckily. Still misses. Unless it takes away my shield. For, for so, for so uh, that is its turn. So it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, well, that worked. <laughs> We're going to do two more. Okay. Where did my dice go? Right, just... We hear a muffled noise from its eye. Order it blows! Order it blows! Pew! Pew! <laughs> Why do you always shout your attacks? <laughs> Minus three is gonna miss. Cause that's like fifteen. I say it in draconian. <laughs> super Draconic super special uh, beam <laughs> Unnatural twenty to hit. That will hit. Melon. And that's a lot of extra math that I haven't had to do previously. Boo! Uh, three points of damage. <laughs> One! <laughs> Bing! Pew. Okay. <clears throat> um, do we see any indication that he's inside the dome? Make me a perception check. <coughs> uh, that's going to be a 14. There is something moving around inside there. You did also just see a couple of flashes of magic, but definitely not Mal. <laughs> okay. But it, but you can't. You, it's it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see entrances through to the it. room, right? Right. Okay, so it's kind of hard um, to see through it. In that case, Killian is going to run forward and, like Hulk, jump up in the air with both his fists up in the air and bring him crashing down on top of the dome. Okay. Uh, does a 19 hit. 19 does hit. Okay, so these will both hit. And on as he's jumping in the air, he's going to gather green divine energy in his hands because I'm using divine smite. So the first attack hits for... Do you want it all together or do you need to know the different damage types? Um... So we're killing the trampoline? Like one does. <laughs> Okay, it was just, you is know, making sure. Is any of it fire damage? Flesh bubble. If not, then just give it to me all at once. Mm, no. Okay, just give it to me all at once. Okay, then. so then all at once that's... We don't know that, I and you guys are in water. <laughs> no, no, not yet. It's still pouring in. It's pouring in. Uh, it's about to get real damp under that. All right, cake. so that is 30 points in total on the first hit. <laughs> Deserve that one. And then Say that again. Thirty. Okay. He sounded so disappointed. I don't know why you're sad. He's been fighting this fight for two whole seconds. Yeah. Puncture him. Hit. Puncture him. <laughs> and pop that blister. The, oh, Danny. I mean, he is a face <laughs> blister. Tabby right monster has disadvantage attacking anyone but me. Oh, well, I won't complain. Because <laughs> I don't need any more minuses. <laughs> nope. I already okay. rolled poorly enough. Okay. Well, then, that will take us to Milo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flank with him. I'm going to uh, use a cantrip. I'm going to cast Primeval Savagery. Oh. <laughs> Wait, if, if one of us gets on top of the kingdom and he's in the kingdom, is that considered flanking? We're past your turn. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to ask that question. I like I will that question. Get around to the trampoline and, and we'll be flank with talking. Killian, and I'm going to use primal savagery. All right. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. 
Have you ever been punched in the face okay. through uh, your sinuses? That is going to be uh, 18 plus 8 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Let's do it! Uh, 14 points of cold damage. Nice. <gasps> Natalie, what? I need to cut off the face and do the Dwight thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then that will be my turn. Because I cannot do Sounds anything gross. else. Oh. <laughs> so how do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah! yeah! Uh, huge uh, things of ice appear in my mouth, and, uh, and you lick it. Creating talent, <laughs> and I just primal savage and just start ripping this uh, laffy taffy skinned substance. Milo uses bubble beam. It was super effective. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. Oh yeah. Uh, for so those of you who cannot likes. see, the, uh, Keith has just shown us uh, the stats of what we were just fighting. An adult Oblex. Oh, it's an ooze. Yeah. yeah. A oh. nasty one. That's that why it was sense. Laffy Taffy. Yep. I hate everything. Alright. <laughs> and then I, I will calm down ideas. and the ice will kind of just melt off of my oh, hands. So I spit out water. Mm -hmm. So wait, was that the? Game? So so the, the 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 dome sort of. So so what did you say it did? It did it pop? Shredded it. I just shredded it. So so the dome just kind of. <laughs> so from inside you see, uh, <laughs> you see a you see a a a, a figure sort of land on top of it and there's just this bright Sorry. flash of energy that sort of ripples through it and and the whole thing just sort of ripples and then then the air inside the dome gets so very cold and the whole thing just sort of freezes solid and then shatters into a million pieces. <laughs> and then Milo lands on me. <laughs> uh, no, it, well that would be it would actually be Oh, you hit it Killian. From the side. Killian lands on Killian you. sort of drops in and lands on top of you. Hi. Oh, we found you. Oh, there you are. Glad to see you're still alive. And mm. water is pouring in, by the way. Yeah. What did you guys do? Uh, I believe we killed it. I believe they saved your freaking life. I'm just going to come up and slap you and. <laughs> Uh, seeing as it'll I'm hit. No, <laughs> yeah, this, this is gonna hit. I just have to figure out. This is my last key point. So you're using a key point because I can do it to heal. Unless I can do oh. that without using a key point. Uh, and I, heal. I, 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 I so, so don't. Well, I assume oh, yeah, still doesn't know, know yeah. that she can. Yeah. So this is like all of the energy and like upsetness of you just. Bamfing out like I mean, and I not. She'd figured that earlier. I figured that out earlier for Alma. So let's see. Um... <laughs> yeah, spend a key point <laughs> and uh, so roll your whatever your martial die plus your I, wisdom modifier. Yep. I mean, yep. <laughs> so three plus. Could have saved his life. Uh, At this point, it's probably a six. It's a D eight or a D eight. Oh, it's D eight. Yeah. I've been doing that wrong. Have you now. been rolling D sixes this whole time? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter because the D they're both the same. <laughs> And so it's, it's only get, five uh, points, but you know. You heal, you heal five points. Uh, I won't say no to that. <laughs> I was um, under half. She also looks like shit. <laughs> Do you need more healing? I have healing. Of course, all of let your friends are just like drunk. Yeah, so you can't look that bad. We're all just me... soaked. I, um, I almost died. Oh, that's right. And she healed me some before, so I I'm back up to little... 30. But that's still okay, like half I will half do prayer of healing. That's awesome. What are you looking for? Well, I was clearly told that something was under this thing that was resonating with me. Uh, I am actually immediately going over to the body, too. Um, Pieces. Ooh, I'm going to start prayer. It's not perception. <laughs> um, since you're actively weird. looking, it would be in either <laughs> investigation Wait, or you didn't do that. You didn't. I healed you. It's okay. just gonna be plus one. Uh, I don't uh, I'm also covered in like a thin layer of stone currently. What? 
Yeah. 14? Hmm? 14. Yeah. From the Armor of Agathis. Um, oh, well, I don't know what's it's armor. Kinda hard to, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Well, I mean, Does that actually, no, because he, he is... I don't know. We'll have to ask Keith. Keep going. We're, we're... Sorry, yeah. Later. It's not important right now. <laughs> Danny actually... just might be taking damage from healing me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both learn a new thing. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Actually, no, because he does have the the the, stone. the armor of Agatha's okay. stone over him, covering over him. Okay. There's something. You didn't think he could do that. He definitely couldn't. <laughs> All right, so so you've got armor of Agatha. Yeah. What what does it say? If a creature hits you with a melee attack. Well, you have Which is what you were doing. You take five points of damage. You take five points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> now I'm below half. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, that was mass new. Cure wounds. Also, I'm going to do prayer healing right yeah, now. Yeah, she's going to do prayer healing. You, so I you, just you, started. My little error. Mal, you son of a... <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you okay? I'm going to try to start peeling like, off. It's the, wait, wait, stop. It's, it's, it's gone. Like the moment she hits me, it disappears. Like, like the, the, the rock shatters. Burns. Wait, yeah, is it only at first flash? Yeah. Okay. I don't what? have anything higher. <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm running over to the, the dead dwarf. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can wow. frostbite the water coming in to kind of block it. <laughs> see if that works. If not, that's fine. Nice to see you too. No, thank you all. Frostbite. Somebody is laying dead. dead. <laughs> we we have used frostbite in the past to freeze small amounts of water. So it because it's because it's rushing in. It sort of turns into this. It sort of turns into this slushy kind of thing. It slows it, but it doesn't. Where it's so it, it, it turns one. that singular spot into an icicle that then gets thrown back into uh, the room. <laughs> it's pretty big. I mean, you guys came through it without any problems. Okay. So call it like call there. it maybe call it eight feet tall by seven feet wide, sort okay. of an oval shape. Um, First of all, Keith, these little frozen pieces of the Laffy Taffy monster, uh -huh. are any of them, do I see any of them starting to move at all, or? No. Okay, well, I'm still going to go pick one up and put it in a vial, Kay. put that in my bag, Okay. and I'm going to very securely stopper this vial I put it in, Okay. put that in my bag, and then I'm going over to check out that egg. So, what, uh, walk under what happened? Okay. So I am checking vitals on what is probably fairly obviously dead. Yeah. But yeah. Um, is anything else happening? Like, I guess what I'm asking is, is was the flesh held together magically, and now that the magic's gone, it's deteriorating like extra quickly, or is it just dead body? It's just a dead body, but it sort of prodding under the surface. Yeah. Um, you can tell that the, the musculature maybe is a little bit more flabby than you would have expected, and certainly more flabby than what she looked when she was actually moving around. Okay. Um, as as you're watching, it doesn't. You, you're not seeing. You're not seeing anything change, but you sort of almost get this impression of time sort of rushing to catch up to this okay. body. All right. Uh, um. Uh, <clears throat> are you okay? No, we should probably. Um... Figure out what to do with that egg before it's completely submerged. I mean, it's been submerged before. <laughs> On one side. No, it hasn't. Milo? Yeah. yeah. Will you ask it whatever's has. in there if there's uh, something we need to do to get it out? <clears throat> okay. Uh, hello in there. <laughs> I need <hate> her <laughs> <laughs> Hello in there. Uh, 
we wish to free you from uh, your entrapment. Is there any way that we can do this safely for you? Also, 15 points. Oh, good. Oh. For prayer of healing. One side hurts more than me. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's 10 minutes. I'm so. down 51 points of damage with the healing you gave me. So. Well, 15 I mean, it was only points. Five points. So. <laughs> oh, um, for every. Um, with the healing? Yes, for everyone. With the healing, your memories flood back into your mind. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. And that effect is gone. Okay. Um, I'll get closer so I can hear if it mutters. It is ten feet in the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen gently. (laughs) (laughs) It's an Inger up there. Um, Inger. Inger, Oh, you weren't here. uh, Inger Inger perished in the fight. Inger bit the dust. (laughs) (laughs) And I haven't had a chance to bring him back. Okay, sorry. So. In your head, Mal, you hear the response. We need time to heal. We need time to draw ourselves together. Can you get smaller? Remind me that you said that later. I have something interesting. (laughs) And I think we need time to go home. So? Nothing. Uh, uh, It says it needs time. What? I'm sorry, what? I thought you couldn't speak Draconic. What do you mean? I'm assuming that the thing in the dragon egg speaks on it. <coughs> well, I think we know we don't have to worry about who might get in control of um, the stone one. Yeah, no, she shoved it into my stomach. Um, so, sure. That sounds reasonable. Are you okay? What? Well, it... The hole's gone. <clears throat> okay. Later. Uh, okay, stone shaman. <laughs> is this is this the stone shard earth thing? Great. Would you kindly ask it? One, do we need to move it anywhere? Is it going to be a problem if it stays here in this submerged room? So he's just, just going to ask that mentally. He's not going to try to say anything out loud. And can it get smaller? Like it, or trans? This isn't probably a safe place underwater for you, is it? My sister, or one of my sisters, is more at home in this medium. Ah, and the egg, the is... egg starts to float a little higher and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and gets to the top of the room and just sort of melds into the, into the stone above it. I think the answer is it's fine here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, I have a lot of other questions. Second question. Is there like a, an easy way to get into this room? Because I assume we're going to want to come back. Are we? Are we going to want to come back? I mean, I think so, because the shard's here. I mean, once we He said he needs time to go home. Oh, I didn't say that earlier. Sorry. Um, (laughs) You guys... Yeah, it's not easy, is it? Okay. Um, Here's your job. You're going to ask exactly the questions I say, using the words I I use, and then you're going to respond with exactly the words it responds with. Can you do that? If you keep looking at him like that, I'm going to punch you in the teeth. Is this what it's like from a third person? (laughs) On my conversations? All the time. Okay. I will relay your questions, yes. You want me to cut the testosterone between you? You're the one who decided to get upon yourself to come here on your own and become the stone shaman. So if you'd like to help fix the world, I just please be as clear as you can. I'm going to cooperate with you. Okay. (laughs) Like... 
<laughs> How does it get home? You said you need time to get home. How are you doing that? I first must free my sister. We're working on that. And my brother. Okay. And then we four must be one. All right. He says we have to save the other ones first, and then when they're together, they can go. Okay, how do we save them? How? So what we just did was saving it. We just removed the thing that had a controlling influence over the larger section. We have to do that with whatever entities are holding the other sections. Right. Which so we is... gotta get more shots. So we have to go kill his mom. Yeah. And we've gotta kill the fire thing. Is it holding the larger section or a smaller section like what you have? Fire Probably a. Has, right? Well, if it's. No, the, the I don't. General... I don't think oh, it oh, would be right, just. Right. Trumpet trudging around yeah. with it. Hold on. So you are. So I'm. Well, I think I've got I, what you've got is just hang a on. Uh, small hang section. On. Is so not how is it off, that so. you and Milo are not causing problems because you have a little piece? Oh. How did the yes. Laffy Taffy monster have a big piece? We should probably get out. It probably landed first. on him. Oh, that I... still doesn't explain how it. He had a big piece. I can ask. I, I don't know that it's gonna make sense though. Um. Well, how did it hold control over you? Well, he's still not breathing. What are the metaphysics of how an <laughs> Ublex controls a god shard? <laughs> Why was it well, first you ascend to the spiritual realm. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get words back. Oh, great. Oh, fun. You don't even get a vision back. You get... A fax. A sensation. And the... It's not a pleasant one. The the you can get you you feel like whatever this sensation is is being translated into something that you maybe kind of could understand. So it's being translated into something physical, but something inside you knows that it's not really physical, and it feels like being violated. So Mal sort of like stumbles a little bit. Um, I think it's got to be a magical connection. I didn't actually get any words on that one. Um, it's it's like. Uh, Something connecting to your insides. Okay. Okay. So, uh, can you ask your Godshard if there's a way that it could use you as like a telephone? Yeah, like a pass along to communicate directly with any of us. Because it feels like connecting to your insides does not help me understand exactly what's going on. Do you have a way that you can talk to uh, people aside from myself? No. I could, I could try. I mean, didn't you just try to talk to it? Yeah, but it, uh, but it can't talk physically, so I was going to see if I could channel talking oh. through, through you and see what I could just, if maybe that would work. I mean, <laughs> you can I mean, try, right. I, I still don't know. So the problem here is, if things can control these things, but don't actually have to actually physically have them, right? Like, you've got apparently a piece inside of you, you've apparently got a thing inside you, but you don't count. How, how do we know that the thing that controls one of these things isn't really far away from it, and how do we, if that's the case, how do you track it down? And und I have a lot of... The logistics on this is really Yeah, there, I have a lot of issues, yeah. and it's very difficult to communicate through you because you don't always... You don't have the same frame of reference. 
as I do mm -hmm. to understand some of the stuff. I, I don't know that there's a way we can fix that, though. I know. Um, why don't you ask it if it can communicate with our gods? I don't Interesting. think so. Well, I know that the gods can't see it right now, but I'm wondering if maybe it could reach out, make a new they, friend, uh, reach out make my life a lot easier. How? However, deities reach out. Yeah, that's I, a little foggy so, for I'm, me. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, is there a way that you could reach out to the gods of this world? What gods? <laughs> what <See? world? laughs> You... So it can't. Uh, it... You know how you well. said that your god doesn't, like, see any of their god stuff? Yeah. It works two ways. So basically... Can your shard friend see me? Can you see any of the, the folks that are with me? Yes, I can see your... Uh... Plus Akarai. I can see your five friends. He just sort of looks around. Like, One, two, like... three, four, five... Six. Oh! <laughs> the, the ones who are using the, the God's powers. It goes the both ways. Are connected to God's. Uh, oh so my gosh, I must be... See, I you saw him. So you two are invisible now. It, no, the other no, no, no. Not me. I have angel... It didn't also, see me. How, does, how do I work? It I didn't have both see me. So is it, okay, is it, it is not picking up everyone here. Is it him that it doesn't see or is it Akari it doesn't see? No. Well, it can't. I mean, how, how do you? It's Mizuki. Uh, have, him yeah, have him describe. Have him describe. It's Mizuki. <laughs> that he it's Mizuki. Right, I know Mizuki's oh, one of them. So you are missing somebody here. Um, don't, missing. don't count him. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't yeah. Count you him. are missing someone here. Can you describe to me the people that you can see? She descri it describes everyone except Mizuki. Oh, so actually, actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to tell you each time I'm touching someone. Why? If it looks like I'm not touching someone, will you tell me? Okay. Okay, touching someone. Yes. Okay, touching someone. Yes. Ekarai, touching someone. Yes. Milo, touching someone. My sister's channeler. Yep. Ooh, touching channel. someone. See. See me? Yes. Touching someone. Who? Okay. Uh, so, yeah. um, Wait, apparently Mizu's invisible. Can... Oh. How Thank much... you. Okay, can Where's Mizuki the see level? the egg? <laughs> so, so the water level is, at this point, How... getting up to about chin deep. <laughs> can Mizuki see the egg? Well, I mean, it's it's it's, it, it's melded well, yeah. into the into the wall, but yeah, you could see the egg okay. previously. Interesting. Okay. Um, uh, does it know where? Did she hear when it tapped? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does it know where? Uh, so there's it... a physical manifestation yes. and, and the it... knot. Yeah. Is is there a? Does it know where the air one is? There is one of yours that ha uses a different medium, something that is not what I am currently, like, treading water in. It is not fire, and it is not earth. It is air, if that makes, it, if that makes sense to you. Do you know where that is? You can touch through this channeler. Can you touch the air shard? I can. I can sense his presence, but I am not familiar with this realm. I cannot locate him. It's somewhere here. But it doesn't know where. Yep. Okay. It doesn't um, have the point of reference to give that to us. And I assume it wants to go home. With it, yeah, it needs to come together. 
right uh, now. Does it know me. if its siblings want to go home? I, I assume the other parts of you also wish to return home. Three of us do for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I have not been able to contact the fourth. Uh, and the fourth is associated with Fire. the high energy? <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to do <laughs> pictures. Some descriptive words yeah. that would dis- so you get a sensation like your body has just been dipped into a vat of molten metal. Ah! Oh. Okay, all right, yep, fire, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Let's maybe not okay, ask that question maybe. again. Um, yep. You, so we met those nice kobolds. Um, would it like the nice kobolds to move in here? Do you want... Do we hear drilling? The... <laughs> <laughs> At this moment, yeah, through the wall. <clears throat> we made it! <laughs> so there are some folks from your... Wherever you're from. They look like little dragon things. Oh, wait, I still don't know. Okay, uh, they, they look like little lizard lizards. things. Um, they're here looking for you. I think they're headed this direction towards where your physical self is currently. Do you want them here? Do they seek creation or destruction? There's some of both. The ones I'm talking about are seeking creation. (laughs) They would be acceptable. Okay, yes. Okay, that can be arranged. Well, this is talking. I'm going to do that uh, water echo location thing. Okay. And see if I can determine if the fire army has arrived. <laughs> the fire nation? The fire nation. The fire nation attacked. Um, because they're not in contact with water, you do not have a location for them. That's fine. No, that means just, they're not in contact with water, which is a good thing. Yeah. Which half of this place um, is no. in okay. water. So. Okay. What are you? What were you saying there? I'll do it later. To do it later. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll do it later once we're. I mean, it's still filling up with water, right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, it's it's probably not presumably at some point it's gonna stop. I mean, because it it'll fill the whole thing, yeah. and we can all breathe underwater. So I don't yeah, know that okay. we really care right now. Or so... it fills to the level of the. Um, depending on um, the can the can the shard relocate of its own volition? Can you move to anywhere you want, or are you basically stuck where you are physically? You you kind of get this sense of. Amusement, bemusement. I just did. I mean, a little bit, yes. But like, could you go anywhere you wanted physically, or like? Is there a certain range? Some. Is there a mileage? (laughs) Certain elements are easier to move through than others. Okay. All right. So, moving through stone, not too hard. Moving other places is going to be harder. <clears throat> but it can move freely through stone. That 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 is the impression that I got. Yes. Okay. Good. <clears throat> um. This is a question for both you and the stone aid. Um. <laughs> Do you think it can handle the army of kobolds and the fire person thing on its own? How quickly can you move? Uh, That's hard. That requires frame of reference. Um, There is someone coming with a bunch of those lizard things associated with destruction. 
And they are they are following someone with and he's gonna try to give back that same sensation, the like burning sensation. Okay. Bars is with them. Um will that be an issue if they get here now that you are no longer controlled by the former king thing? I'm not sure I know what you're asking. Will it be an issue if they arrive? Can you just leave? Would you need to fight them? Could they do something to control you in the same way that you were controlled before? I I cannot fight. I am an egg. The earth shall be used hard. I am (laughs) egg. I cannot fight one who... draws power from one of my siblings. Fair. And I would not wish to put myself in a place to have my power stolen from me again. Fair enough. Well, it might just be a good... uh, So, you can't fight them at all. Okay. I'm going to ask if he can just leave then. I mean, yeah, if, if, if it thinks it's going to be able to avoid them and if it thinks that they do not pose a serious threat to it, then that's fine. We just, we kind of need to know if we need to go Fight deal with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you, can you would... leave here then? So that, so that that's not going to be an issue that we need to face? Or do you need us to take care of that? In immediacy. Because it's a whole army, and... Uh, I mean, we could just turn on the defenses, but... For the... And, and dr- lower the bridge. Well. And then throw rocks at them. Uh, but, like... I am now free to leave this place. Okay, yeah, he can just leave. Okay. Cool! So, not a problem. Not immediately. Awesome. Um, um, is he gonna have a way to tell you if he, like, gets controlled again so we can come deal with that? Is there a way that we can keep in contact if someone should try to control you again? If, if someone has that ability? <laughs> like... This thing's Can just going to permanently <laughs> follow you underground. Everywhere you go, it'll just be uh, six feet underneath you. Uh, <laughs> for now, I will always be with you. The Force will be, be with you, you always. always. Yep. The but force. only for now. Alright, well, he'll be close to us. Okay. So like like physically? Um, it's just like gonna follow us around. Under- um. Oh boy. Uh, well, <laughs> shit. Okay. What if we have to go in the water for some reason? We're in the water. <laughs> we have to go We're somewhere else. Like where? Where are we where, gonna be off of where? here? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um. All right. I think Unless that's. Unless Killian's um, gonna invent would... a hot air balloon, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I think that answers all my questions. I might for now. Also, that is not what the DM said, but I that's know, okay. I, I love it. <laughs> Making a whole lot of awkward assumptions yep. here. Mm-hmm. That's what Stephen does best. Yep. Egg under yes. us always. Um, so... All right. Would... So, will the, so nobody will be able to get to you, correct? At least as far as you are aware. Unless they surprise him by tunneling really to fast. To the best of my abilities. All right, well, let us know if we need to, like, kill something so that that can't happen. Um, I think we need to leave now. Would what? Uh, would you like me to try to find out how far the army is? Where they're at? I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, but what's our plan at this point now that we've 
come here and accomplish what we've accomplished. Well, uh, we need to kill your mom. So from what <laughs> I, I mean, smaller scale. From what I understand, <laughs> right now is today. the time to <laughs> today. return back home for most of us. Yes. Um, take do a some more planning. Take a couple months of planning. <laughs> Maybe sick the Imperial Garrison on the giant army of kobolds if they're willing. I know they kind of got their kick, butts like, kicked. Yeah. But, you know. Uh, prepare the town for a possible kobold invasion, maybe, and uh, do some planning since we apparently need to kill the Empress. And find the air shard. Well, the and air shard, actually find the physical. The air shard is going to meet us. Fire shard. And, uh, Costas? Costas. Oh, that's right. You did tell us that. Yeah, yeah the air one's going to meet us at Costas. Oh, Costas. So. The two birds, one stone. Two Still birds, doesn't fix know. the fire problem, but no. there's nothing we can do about okay, that. Okay, we have a general idea of where it landed. Um, the fire? Yeah. yeah. Right, you said a volcano. So the Elven yes, right. Empire right. Right. was destroyed by volcano. giant fire, fell out of the sky, big volcano. Anyway, yep. so wherever that is, presumably there. Um, we need to do some more research. Yes, yes. We need to. So, do a lot of so planning. Yes, I would look. Sionis so might know some know. stuff. Okay, well, Sionis or so the knowing, in the capital, I'm sure. Knowing can... is not a bad thing, um, so that we can avoid it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we need, oh well, unless you're hell-bent on finding Lars. Unless we want to find a treasure room. Uh, I mean... I say let him stick it out with the whoever he made a deal with, but... Um, okay, additionally... Yeah, I mean, he begged for my help. Did he? He did. Oh. Did he? Uh, <laughs> yes, he actually did. Okay, so tell me, tell me the exact words he said. Yeah, I told you uh, to. Tell me the exact words he said. I think this might actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> what, what be... What are the talking heads? I'm just uh, chatting now. Somewhere. Just, what were his exact <laughs> words? I must know. I think, actually, I think it's in here. So, I hope it's in here. If the fire one is unwilling to cooperate, then we need the other three first. True. So I think Costas is the next logical step. I mean, not like immediately, but I like that's the ideas, next big step. Um, we need to wait. Planning to yeah. yeah. It was basically those two shards are the like, next big step. Was um, the fire one? Maybe. Let's see. He. I, oh, I asked him where he was. Um, he didn't tell me. Uh, I do you remember the specifics? I, ha I have a, I have the sticky note. I don't know where the sticky note is. Yeah, um, I don't remember specifically. It, it, it said, let's see. Um, You have to help me. You would be nothing without me. Oh. Okay, you would be not, your family would be nothing without me. Ooh. Oh. Come um, immediately. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, and, said, and so are we going to go help him, or are we just going to let him sort no, of deal with that we're problem? Gonna let him die. Oh, yeah. no, we're just going to use him for information, I think, at this point. Okay. How soon do you want to acquire Lars? It depends on where he, what the situation is. Do we need to <laughs> at the moment? Him? Well, I'm pretty sure he's still with the giant army. Yeah. Yes, and as long as he's with the giant army, he's a, he prisoner. a better source of information he's a prisoner than if of we acquire him. The, uh, oh. Yeah, he's a prisoner. Okay. Yeah, that's you what were, he asked for You were referring to something that I did, was not. Okay. Sorry. Um, I, anyway. Later. Lots of planning to do. Lots of discussion. For yeah. That. Later. So, okay. So um, we are going to not deal with the army currently, correct? Yeah. I don't see any reason to. I think that it would be great to let them go on a wild goose chase to try and find our egg friend. Although okay. we should probably not pop I up mean, right I mean, I could. So, right, that's why I'm not I mean, knowing where I, they are. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, yeah. see, that's yeah. why... And it, with, my, with uh, our ability to just breathe underwater, we could just... Walk across. Yeah, the we lake. Can I just, can either. Although, isn't there supposed to be something in this lake that's oh, right. nasty and can I move <laughs> out and see if I can also, find it? Worth trying to see if there's any like. I can either do. Let's see. We could take it with us. Um, if, you if you say it's right next to you, you don't I don't see okay, anything. No okay. I was about to say, if Wait, it's so right next to you, um, it's like it's standing next to you. Do we need to control room? 
Mm-hmm. Get out of here. I don't well, kill think these so. Not really. We can get them underwater back so. here and have them. Okay. The only thing we have to swim. If it starts like, getting painfully cold, like, really we might have here. to have like tunnel well, for us a little bit, it, like around us as we go up. People and have but I think to, I think we should be okay because yeah, we still have a lava right. flow that's cooling or that's warming some of that. So I think we could be okay to get to the surface. You should screenshot that so I can read it. You got it. Nat is more likely is most likely to kill you. Griff is most comfortable. Danny is most likely to wonder how the group got where they are currently at. Or currently Brayden stuck. stuck. Brayden is most likely to double agent plot twist cliffhanger. I will. Stephen is most likely to point out a fact of which he is inexplic- inexplicably an expert at. Lance is most likely to fill Danny in with the exact series of choices that led the group to the aforementioned problem. And Keith is most likely to grin in a frustratingly musing way. That is enough. I don't know what it is. Yep. You're not Maybe wrong quote, about any of that. Plus, she knows this or something. Oh, look, yeah. I dropped a plot device. <laughs> <laughs> How did oh, that no. get there? Whoopsie! I wonder if I hit the button on it, it fits. Anyway, so, isn't there some nasty thing in the lake? Uh, not that I've been able to sense, but... That, that doesn't fill me with confidence. No, it doesn't. So maybe but, we don't walk all across the bottom of the lake. Maybe we stick a little bit closer to the shore where there's less likely to be big, giant. Um, yeah, just walk. If we just go walk to out the, the top, lake head, I can or to the, walk the river head, yeah. and then pop That's out true. there. Uh huh. If we if get, we to, get the to the top, top of the lake, I can. Us. Well, I think the advantage to walking in under the lake is that if the army comes by, they won't be able to see us. Yeah. Yep. But if you go ahead and check um, it out, I see. can check. Yeah. Well, okay. I can see do one or the um, other. But so it sounds yeah. like the consensus is we start making our way. I will. Home. Statistically. Home? Or do we uh, need to go to. Where would the army be the... at this point from last we saw them? We're um, you know, now. the Cobalt building the if, drill first. If they continued no. on their march. We can. Out there if they continued they on their march, there. they I mean, would I be reaching the foothills at the southern end of the peninsula. So they would only just, just be going here. here as an army. Yes. Okay. Got it. So, I mean... Assuming that the shenanigans with time loops oh, yeah. affected them as well. Um, also, the bridge is down okay. currently? Is it? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. No, we didn't okay. mess with it the, the, the third time, did we? I don't I think, think we did. We did not. I'm not sure that it matters right. for a we, we decided to just book it the third time. Uh, and one, I doubt that they three. will use that entrance. Two. It'll take them a day or two to the, just There's nothing that the kobolds, the they, they presumably won't be able to find what they're looking for here. So letting them get oh, into look, the city it. just <laughs> distracts go. them for longer. You guys can read it you have to help me. You must help me. Your family would be nothing without money. Come and help me at once. Plug. Please. <laughs> please. You got him to say yeah. please. Yeah, he did say please. Wow. I know. Never heard him say that. Uh, yes. Cabbage? You know you're worth much without this piece of trash. Yeah, that's why oh, we're not yes. gonna go okay. save him. Yes, mm-hmm. that's. I mean, I just, I, I just want to make sure that's okay. abundantly so, clear. Yes, yes. Let's, let's take a hike. Take the armor off okay, of um, the decaying dwarf. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to? Do you want take that body back with us to give it a proper burial? I mean, couldn't a water burial here with the rest of her people is probably as good as any. Uh, Oh, plus half I of the city is covered in water, right. so they can't explore if most of it. you so. want it? It'll be fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, couldn't okay. your egg friend make, like, a stone? Yeah. I don't know. You might not have a I don't even know is what you're Is the word asking. you're looking for coffin? Coffin? Well, I was thinking just, like, make a stone hole and then make a stone go over it. So more like a... Uh, I think Two. right here is fine. I think it's up to Mel. Th- this will be fine. Okay. The rest mm-hmm. of her and my people that were here are already gone. So, so 
by this point the water level has sort of risen to the I point can't speak where... for everyone else, but Killian's just kind of been ignoring the water level because he's yeah. like, I don't care. It doesn't, I, uh, doesn't affect us. It, it's about half to... filled the room, so it's okay. level with the, the opening you guys came I'm through. I'm growing accustomed to water, so... All so right, I will take the, take the armor and then any anything else that is um, still intact, shoes, things like that, that would be relics of, of the time period. Okay. Um, the crown? The crown, I assume, broke was with... Was part of the body. The Yeah, the crown was um, part of his body. It yeah. wasn't and it's actually okay. real. I've got a, got a piece of the oblex right. right, to then. study. Let's... Uh, like oh, it, it is... Let's walk in so the water. Just drop the armor and, and the sword as well. Um, uh, so as you're picking it up, Killian's just gonna open his bag. <laughs> <laughs> as the water is filling your bag. <laughs> so I can. Yes. I can yeah, yeah. If you I want me to, or, or scry or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I, I have don't kind of prescribe. I forgot what we were doing. I can do sending. Too. Yeah, I forgot That's what, what I would do. I know. I was a little um, I was like, like, oh, what happened if I? Huh? Help you. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I have to know where you are to be able to save you. I, I'm pretty sure I asked that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and he blathered on about. You have to help you. Anyway. And how um, worthless my, my family is. So <laughs> clearly, five steps ahead of me up. It's my great husband material right there. Can you do um, that while we are swimming, or is that something we need to stay here for? Um, it's up to. I can. Can, can one uh, send while walk? I recognized all the words. <laughs> Those all were then, words in the English language. Why are you confused? Um, <laughs> okay, well, the water's not all the way up yet, but. Well, it is, it is filled it takes, as much as it It only has takes. An, it's like an action. Yeah, you just something. speak and they hear. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's like not even Ooh. speak out loud. It's like. He's gonna look around. He doesn't see any other entrances to this room, right? Nope. Mm. There's no other ways into this room, right? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Well, okay. well there's, the, like there's the there's that whole gem and or not gem, but like quartz wall. Still in this room, correct? Mm-hmm. And I mean, aside they, from maybe um, through that wall, but not that I'm aware of. And even if they have like a special a like, scuba team. Of kobolds that can even get to this room. That's a great I just imagine a kobold in a little scuba gear and it was adorable. Wait, Reep. I need to draw this. Reep. Reep. Um, okay, I'm gonna send Talars then. Gives a whole new meaning to the term frogmen. Yep. She's mm. sending Talars. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, I have to think about words. Words. Um, April sound good. What? <laughs> right? She said it now. I'm like, now I'm What's hungry again. Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Oh, egg rolls. Freaking trooper. <laughs> I like egg rolls. Why did you do this to me? I could eat me some egg rolls right now. I'm not gonna. I'm a big fan of egg rolls. Soup as well. <coughs> Hot and sour rolls? soup. <sighs> Shut your mouth. Oh, that makes sense. We hot make soup. hot and sour soup. It's also healthy. And we're not good enough friends that you have shared us with this? Oh, oh great. <laughs> wow. I just didn't know that you like liked it. So many people are so on the fence about hot and sour soup. I am one of those. Do I look like someone who cares about <laughs> <laughs> what I put in my mouth? To be fair, the last time I saw inside Brayden's house. Uh, Brayden, what are you putting in your mouth? Oh, everything he wants to. <laughs> 
I don't judge. It's you okay. might want to choose your words a little more carefully. Or, 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 or don't. When, when, have, when have you I know. ever? When have I ever? Um, so f- just just so you know, that's right at the three hour mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm sending to Lars. Okay. I will assist you, but there are conditions. Are you with <gasps> Army? What is your location? How close to the lake are you? <laughs> I believe that's the sound of someone's pride being broken. Yeah. Crazy if the fire dude responds and he's like, I'm sorry, Lars can't come to the phone right now. Because he's dead. I mean, if he's dead, then it just would. No point, yeah. Yeah, there would just be no response. Unless he's dead. Yes, I'm still with this bloody army. (laughs) They made me leave my tent and bedding behind and have forced me to sleep on the ground like an animal. That's 20. <laughs> okay, it's 25 words, though. Yeah. He gets five more. I can see the lake. Nope. I can see the... I can see the Oh, sorry. Lake. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, I counted it out. Okay, yeah. Um... That, that is that. No. I only have one, I only have one small slot, so that's... <laughs> Not so much walking, more of the swimming. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Oh. Well, I meant a lot of us are very heavy, so we'll kind of use like... Oh, okay. And we are still technically uh, all tight. Okay, yeah. I will let that, Most and I will let, let the rest of the party know. Um, so so they nice shot. So they can see the lake. Which means they're Currently. probably into the foothills. Okay, I'm gonna um, be honest. Being able to see the lake is not a particularly useful geographic yeah. location. That doesn't surprise me, coming from Lars. Yeah, no. No. I mean, I vote yeah. that we stay under the water while we travel until we get to the river, the river head. head. Yeah. So we're okay, gonna yeah, go straight fine. east till we hit the coast, and then head north till we hit the. Uh, Let's somewhere around there. Stick relatively close to the shoreline, just in case there's any giant nasty thing in the middle of the lake. We don't walk over it. Yeah, I. I, I I'm agree. just asking that because if we follow the coast, we're gonna come like re- pretty close right here, and not necessarily saying they might spot us, but it's pretty close to be right next to the army. Let me put it to you this way: I don't want to get. Any deeper in the, I don't want to get so deep in the lake that I can no longer see sunlight. Yeah. I can okay. make. I could make light if that makes you feel it better. It is not because I nope. want light. <laughs> it yeah. is because I want to know that the end of the lake is that close. I agree. Okay. I'm not opposed to having like also just a small there's ice bit between us. Yeah. Like ice. also, there's if they ice. see us under the ice, like. What, what are they, they gonna, gonna do? do? Melt the ice like, and then shoot the water? Like we could just how, go out deeper how well into the lake. Are they I don't think that's a big deal. Us, but okay. honestly, under the ice, anyway. for it to be that clear that they could see us. Now would I do be like the unlikely. idea of cutting across that little bit of the lake so it's not as long of a journey, provided it's not super deep, dark, and dangerous. I agree. Well, yeah. let's take a look at it. And... Now, before we actually leave. Would anyone like to take a short rest? Yes, please. Yeah. 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 Um, a short rest. Good. In the water? Yes. We can breathe underwater. It's fine. I know. Or. But, okay, I, yeah, short rest or is good. Or we could short use my, my room. Nice. Okay. I can do that one short more time. Short rest is good. Yeah. Um. In that case, I'm going to walk over to the opening. And Killian's going to start getting a feel for the measurements. And he's going to request the Mizuki using our short rest makes him a door. And a door frame that would fit. The that. Okay. Okay. You gonna spend some hit die as well? Oh, <laughs> freak! Yeah, if we're doing a short rest, yeah, I won't do. I won't give any of my spell slots. If I, have... I will. My yeah. one spell slot. You're not gonna give any of your spell slots anyway. It's a short rest. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. So, um, you get your, I, I think will tell you get your key divinity. points back in oh, a short rest. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I will. Yeah. Level, yeah. Um. Whatever. Okay. And then, do you want? Do we want the rope trick rope? Back to seven. Oh. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it'd be dry. You wouldn't be in the oh. water. I don't know if you care. 
Yeah, we don't want to oh, be all wrinkly. Our armor might care. <laughs> I mean, yours might. Mine is fine. That's, that's but fair. My armor uh, is of great it, quality but... because you made it, so I trust oh, yeah. so that okay. anyone who wants to use it. Okay. And because I get to control what goes in and out, I assume I can say that the water doesn't get to come in. Okay. Sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, uh... I will, okay. I will uh, partake in that short rest because yeah. that will give me my oh, yeah, yeah, I'll right space. You, uh, I'll take abilities. Abilities. for abilities. Uh, Killian will be on watch as well, and he's... <laughs> Killian will be prepping that Did opening to be able Killian to hook the door frame and the door up onto materials it, for it? it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's fine. What is Milo oh. doing? Uh, Milo is taking a short rest. <laughs> Milo yeah. Is sleeping. Specifically. Oh, I'm bringing him here back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. All right. It's Sounds good. And Milo is going to be watching intently. Oh. 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 You won't be able to... Okay. What's oh. happening here? Nothing. Mal is just watching as Milo does his thing, which he has never paid attention before. Okay. Do we get our short rest in? You do get to the short rest in. Okay. Good night. Well, once the door and the door frame are ready, Killian's going to put it up over that opening and anchor it. I know, buddy. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> and then before we head out, he's going to take the time to do arcane lock on the door so that only members of this group... Can pass through the door. Uh, All right, 12. easy yeah, enough. Yeah, very nice. That's why I was like, oh wait, there's not another way in here. I'll just put a door up. That's nice. awesome. Okay, right, so now I'm only down thirty hit points. <laughs> um, I wanted the sphere of annihilation as a pet. If you <laughs> didn't Azarak have one as a pet, essentially? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Follow. Uh, so are we gonna just cut across here, or just follow the coast? Well, we have we'll to see how get out go. first. But yeah. uh, we'll, we'll begin making our way home. Well, you guys know the way out. I do not. True. True. Which I'm assuming we're just going straight up through the hole, right? Yes. Okay. And once you bring Inger back, I will feed him some snacks. Oh. Because I think he deserves it. I think he did a great job. Good boy, okay. Inger. You All can right. hug him if you want. He's a physical thing in this in our reality. <laughs> You're a good boy. You did. Good. So after taking some time to rest to bring uh, lost friends back <laughs> um, to secure this room uh -huh. against incursion, um, you all, you know, take a deep breath, <laughs> stick your head underwater, and start making your way out of. The lost city of Augur's Deep. You follow the path of destruction from when the egg came crashing down. Um, Mal, this is the first time you're seeing it, but it is essentially a, you know, a, a meteorite impact tunnel is what it is into into the city, really and you cool. you start to get a sense of what exactly the catastrophe was that befell your people your patron crashed to the planet and punctured the lake bed and flooded the city it was no one's fault it was just one of those things that happened but now you know that big piece of the puzzle of what happened to your people mm -hmm. The group makes its way. <laughs> That's the, what I would say. The group <laughs> makes its way up the tunnel, um, and I assume you're going all the way out to the lake. Yes. You go all the way out to the lake. Um, reach the surface right below the thick layer of ice that covers mm -hmm. covers the lake. Which direction are you heading off? Uh, eastward. Eastward? Can we at least look eastward? Does it look like it gets darker and deeper? It does. It looks like it gets darker and deeper and as you go east. Let's do it. Oh, oh geez. Yep. This is where we die. Yeah. Now it's the Kraken. Okay. So you guys begin marching or swimming along the ice. I'd prefer to heading, swim with Heading east. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, swim higher. And we will... Um, we will end here with you sort of swimming off into the darkness. Okay. okay. 
um, this this is going to conclude the first chapter of this adventure so with much more in the water? with much more to come um, in the days to come you um, you do make your way back to the city of or the town of Sutterton okay. Okay. Um, the the Imperial Army there is still in disarray. They have no commander. I mean, there there is a command structure, but the prince that they were looking <coughs> to has disappeared. No one knows where he went. The last they saw, he was with the general, who has also disappeared. Um, but no one really knows what happened. So, so the army itself is in somewhat disarray. Okay. Um, Winter is sort of relenting. Uh, there are starting to be some some longer days, some warmer days. Um, several days after your return to town, the, the the river starts to break up a little bit. It is still very cold, still very icy, but the trade ships are beginning to transition back to water running and not sledding. Um, the schoolmaster finds his way back into town and begins in on his lessons once again. The town, life in the town goes back more or less to what normalcy looked like all, all those many months ago. There have been no cobalt attacks for many months since <coughs> really since the army was routed. There are some in the town that tell you that, or we'll, we'll like to say that it was, uh, that that had something to do with it, but they can't really quite figure out how. Stories come in from outside the valley that somewhere far to the north a volcano blew its top. <laughs> and, and from the city of Costas, there are rumors that something has been seen flitting in and out of the clouds hovering over the city. <laughs> there are what now? Uh, something's flying. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to. You spelled it wrong. <laughs> Would you like me to put it in Cyrillic letters? <laughs> I, I don't know what I don't know what that means. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, oh uh, right, yes, okay. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong side. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, 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 right. Did send a hummingbird after him. Ah, yeah. If well, you want to deal with that now, if not, that's fine too. Um. There are rumors that he even <laughs> still chases the fire, the, ar the, the, fi the army of fire. About a week after you make it back to town. <laughs> I was going to say, if not, then that's all Mal's doing is looking for him. Looking for him? Volk. Volk uh, finally manages to come back to Setterton. <laughs> as he comes into town, he's, he's got his hand up to his chest, <laughs> like so. <laughs> and he, 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 every so often he'll stop and he'll look down. And he'll turn a little bit this way and turn a little <laughs> bit that way. And then you continue trudging on. Eventually he finds you in Killian's workshop. <laughs> He's just sitting at a table. He, he, he pulls your little hummingbird up and its wings are just kind of very weakly flopping and flapping. <laughs> and he sets it on the table. Where it probably I explodes. think that is yours. <laughs> yup. I think it is broken. <laughs> it led me here, there, and everywhere across this valley. Oh, dear. <laughs> so Kid is holding it, and he's not going to be like... <coughs> I think it came out like the badger. 
<laughs> and that is a perfect note to end on. Okay. So we will uh, we will return the Glassburkers Guild, the Valley Campaign will return. Um, we just <laughs> the world may be a bit expanded. We will let you know when that happens. Look for us to have a couple of. Uh, I, I need a couple of weeks to sort of do a little bit more world building. And we'll probably have a couple of one-shots between here and then. Do join us in a couple of weeks, and we'll get back to this main campaign. Um, I've had fun. How, how about you guys? I've yeah, absolutely. Well, that was intense. That yeah. was intense. You didn't die. We still have yeah, a lot of threads die. to pull on, no, so don't worry. The story is yes. continuing. The, the world will go on. Um, <laughs> there are hearts will go on. And, no. Uh, no? No, you're no. fired. Okay. Uh, but we will definitely be back to this storyline. I hope you guys had a good time tonight. We will uh, see you next time. And remember... Grab your bats and grab your balls! And if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a glass house. Good night, everybody. Bye! Bye.